new subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. Shout out. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. Subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. Subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. Subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. Shout out. The heck is that music? That's weird. I thought a song was going to start, but it's just 
Just sounds like somebody move, moving like a bunch of office furniture. There we go, that'll be better. Alright, what's up boys? Welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. Yeah, you can't stop me from playing this. Is my game, I'm gonna play it forever. Uh, the update today was to make it so that villagers will work when you're away. Okay, well that's a good thing. I didn't know there was a update actually. I actually don't have an update pending, so I, I hope I got that update. We'll have to see. Welcome back everybody. Good to see all the uh, peasants back in the in the kingdom, yes. Welcome back, subscribers. Welcome back, members. Good to see you all here. Thanks, boys, for spamming that like button like crazy. And welcome to Dashi and William, who became uh, members earlier, actually upgrading and such, too. Welcome to all the new members. Now, I want to continue to play this game until, like, Sunday or something like that. Because I just... I feel like I want to at least build my village up before the next big update comes out, which will be uh, challenges and such. It'll be kind of cool to go take a look at quests and whatever else we have to do there. And then eventually do fishing, which I think will save, like, getting deep into fishing until after. But I kind of want to build every building in the game just to say we did it. Which we pretty much got them all done. We just need to unlock the rest of the farming ones. So, let's get her started, baby. Fire this game up. Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. All right, here we go. Yeah, I've also found another mine. I think there's four. Somebody was... Five. I only know four, so I'll have to find the other mine. Ah, oh boy. I ate a bunch of like noodles uh, about an hour and a half ago, and uh, now that's that's some heavy oof. I'm really starting to feel, feel like I need a, I need a nap. Or maybe I need to go hibernate like a bear. Hey, hey, thanks for subbing, boys. We have Yulian who just subscribed. Thank you very much for your support. Appreciate that. Uh... Uh, it's not being detected. There it goes. Cool. All right. Let's get back into it, boys. Yeah, we're going to keep on building the village. Honestly, that's the most fun in this game is just to continue to build stuff. Like, I know there's a lot of other things to do, but um, I kind of want to go across the river today and work on the farm. Uh, but we'll see what else comes up. Because there's not really much quests for us to do yet, except for a lot of side stuff. But uh, this, I I've done so many quests at this point, it's like, okay, I need a break until challenges come out. But I can't get enough of the building. And I can't get enough of your support. So thanks for being number ones, you guys. Appreciate that. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Get those ones in chat. New subscriber shout out. Sebastian, thank you very much for subbing as well, dude. Ah, and here we are. Back in the old barn. Okay, where were we? Oh, yes. So we upgraded barn number two. So let's see what our capacity is at. 3,200. Okay, so that's probably going to go down when I go across the river. You know, we could build another resource barn across the river. Oh, you know what we should do? We should build another basic barn across the river. Not because we're going to build a farm over there, but because we could... No. The barn only holds so much supply, but I think I want to build another resource barn over there. To increase our capacity yet again, but then also to kind of make it so that way it's a barn, but just dedicated to the farms, like the hen house, uh, geese, cows, whatever else we need to store over there. So that way I don't have to walk across the river every time. That would be a big pain in the neck. Yeah, Colton, more info is on that down below in the description, so make sure you read. And if you haven't subbed, make sure you do too as well. My addiction is real. No, I'm not addicted. I could stop anytime I want. I sleep. I still sleep. Come on, Chad. Leave me alone. You know I love this. Don't don't stop me from having a good time. Don't do it, chat. Don't stop me. You can't stop me. Ah, look at all this pottage I have to sell too. I really do. I don't really care. You know what? Honestly, I don't care if it goes to waste. Because at this at this point in the game, honestly, there should be a wagon. I should just give myself money for it. I don't even want money in this game either. I wish I could just trade pottage for XP. All right, let's go across the river and go lay out our. Let's go build a new barn. So we're gonna need to bring a ton of stones and stuff with us. So let's do that. And we're going to build ourselves a big new barn. And then we'll start building all the other buildings over there, too. Once we build this, it'll make other buildings easier to build, too, because then we'll be able to get them out of basic storage. So if you're ever going to build, like, a new settlement or, like, build across the river, it might be a good idea to build a resource barn on the other side. So that way you can just, like, take all the stuff out of that barn and don't have to walk as far. Also, if you guys are playing this game, please do continue to send me the pictures of your villages and the stuff that you're doing, because I just, I love seeing where everyone else is built. Because I, honestly, there's like, there's no right place to build in this game, because every spot is so darn beautiful, it's crazy. I love it. 
Alright, so here's my plan. So I wanted to build some more animal husbandry-like buildings over here. There's a lot of nice flat area. And we've got plenty of farm fields here, and I don't think we need any more. So I was thinking about, like, if we use this area here for building uh, cow sheds or whatever else, we can build it right just here and, and, like, take this whole square, remove these trees, and it is just perfect for building, like, a barn or something like that right there. So I think that'd be really good. And then there's, uh, yeah, there's perfect area here for a cow shed. In fact, we can build even more over this way, too. Oh, we could just build all the way along. Oh, this actually might have been a good spot to build a village, too. Although, yeah, I think we're far enough from any village to... Yeah, we should be able to build over here, too. I'm hoping. Let's see. Will it let me build anything here? Oh, I should have brought some sticks or something. Uh, let's do this. I'll, um... Here, I'll pick up some sticks here. And we'll see if we can build a fence. Uh, what's the most essential resource in this game? Eh, it depends on what you're trying to do. Like, once you've got food underway, I think the most important thing is to, uh... Oh, yeah, we can build here perfect. How far can we build closer to that village, though? The most important thing in this game is once you get to a certain point, you want to unlock... build. Like, there's these kind of weird artificial restrictions from stopping you building the village you want. So it's like, at this point in the game, technology has stopped us from building... So, like, I can't, like, I need to do more farming in, on, in order to unlock more of the farming buildings. Um, so I don't think there's anything from stopping us from building a bigger food storage. Essentially, it's just the same building, but built with stones. And since we have, since we're mining stone and since we're mining clay, we, we don't need it. So I'm just going to leave all this stuff here for now. Oh, accidentally dropped my old gloves. There we go. All right, let's go get those on again. No, I want my gloves. All right, let's go grab a bunch of resources and come back and forth. Last day of spring, so maybe we can get this built. Could be a good area over here to build a stable as well. Damn, we could actually... Exp you know what? We could actually expand the village over here. I think this is a really good area to keep all the industrial buildings somewhat close together, so that way people don't have to walk f far back and forth. But homes, I don't mind if they're built a little further from each other, so everybody gets kind of a backyard or something. When you play this game, you're going to build on the island... The problem with that, though, is you can't build bridges, so I don't know if in the future if they add carts or horses or something, if you'll be able to go up through the water with them. So just keep in mind, they might change the rules. But I hope they don't... Uh, if, if ever I have to restart in this game, I'm just going to cheat all the stuff in, because I don't... In, in terms of, like, having everything available to build, because I don't... I want to rebuild stuff by hand, but I just don't want some of the artificial things stopping me, if that makes sense. Like, you know... I don't think I need to have a certain reputation before somebody will move in. Uh, I'm getting... By the way, uh, some people were saying that chat is being weird on YouTube, so can, what's the problem? Can you guys not see other people's chat? I can see all your guys' chat, so keep on chatting. But if you don't see anybody else, um, it might be a YouTube problem. Do I play off camera? Uh, on occasion, where I'll do like a record... If I play off stream, I do a recording, which is usually a recap of what we did in the live streams. So I guess what will happen is today I'll save and I'll show building a farm. But at this point, I think more people just like the live streams than they like the videos. Live streams are nice areas to hang out. But the recaps, I guess a recap would be pretty important if I'm going to go build a big old farm. So that might be important. So we're going to go back and forth a few times. Seems normal. Well, everybody at least test it out. Say hey or hi and uh, see if it's working for you. Give it a little test. But you should be good. You should be able to see. Bum, bum, bum. Had a feeling I'd be playing this. Yeah, something just kind of felt wrong with not building the farm across the river after I discovered or had the idea of thinking, oh, I want to like build a... F well, more like a livestock area for all sorts of different animals. Since we don't need to have really big fields for them, we can just kind of do whatever we want. But this will be kind of tedious because we don't have carts in the game, so I'll have to go back and forth a few times, which is okay. In fact, I wonder how much, uh... Oh, I hope the ladies still have iron. That's really the only thing slowing us down now, is making sure we have iron. But we've kind of already done pretty much everything there is to do in the game until they expand the map or give us more stuff to do jobs more efficiently. The only thing I can do now is just build a house, recruit more people, build a house, recruit more people. So I think what I'm going to do first is we'll lay out our farm 
and then we'll build a few more houses. I Before I'd said I wanted to have the workers before the buildings, but what I think I could probably do is it'll take a little more time to build this area, so if I lay it out, um, I should be able to construct all the buildings re relatively quickly and then get everybody recruited. Because as you guys have seen, you can pretty much recruit somebody during the spring and summer pretty quick. You ask them twice like how they're doing and they're down to join your camp, so... Um, and all of our houses are full except for... W oh! We have another simple house that's not built. And I was going to do some more recruiting on that. Let's see. Well, it's spring. We got, all year we got all year to build, so it's okay. Whether we build it now or later, it won't matter until we're done with the farm and the house. But it, it would be a good idea to try to recruit people and finish the house before the last day of summer because then we can try to get everybody recruited by asking them how the weather is. Bum, bum. Yeah, don't be afraid to test the chat. It's been weird. Bum, bum, bum. You finally made it to a live stream? Well, welcome, Nandy. Good to have you here. Thanks again to everybody subscribing. Welcome to the new members. If you guys haven't been a member yet, go ahead and click or tap join and become a member today. Going to be doing more member giveaways and some extra member stuff here pretty soon. Soon. Everything soon. I really want to just be able to play with this... Uh, this with people. It'd be really cool just to build a farm with a bunch of friends and see everybody in their traditional gear and such. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, you have a hack for unlimited carry weight? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I like cheesing it a little bit, but I don't want it to be too easy. I still want to play a game a little bit. Bum, bum, bum. Actually, did I? I wonder if I left all the materials here to build this house. Okay. We're going to build our next house here, so that'll allow us to get two more people. I guess I'll need to go get clay and... No, we won't need clay, because I bet it's being gathered. Let's see. How are we doing for clay? Clay is sitting at... Clay is very slow to mine. We might need to build another resource shed for that. Eight... Oh, 65. Not bad. Okay, so we'll be able to combine that with flax. And I think it's a 10 to 10, so we should be able to make... I can't remember. Well, anyway, that's a good amount of clay. Very good job on that. Uh, iron, 180. Perfect. So it looks like two mines are able to support one blacksmith pretty efficiently. Um, chat is lagging. Um, put a lowercase j in chat. Put a lowercase j in chat and you should be able to... Anything that's a problem, it's... Yeah, whenever I tell you guys there's a problem with YouTube now, now you believe me. Oh, there comes the lowercase j's. All right, it might be delayed for some people. For others, it's probably fine. Wow, 1,400 sticks. Holy crap. If only... That's another thing, too, that they need to allow you to do is to tell certain workers to just not gather certain materials. Like, our capacity... We need a lot more capacity now because the miners are bringing in tons of rocks that we won't need much anymore. And the loggers are bringing in, like, 1,400 sticks, which is like, okay, let's not make firewood anymore. In fact, maybe that's what I should do, is just take the firewood out of the inventory so they burn through the sticks one winter, just to get the supply down. Because I don't need four, you know, we need sticks, but not 1,400. You can't chat at all? I just, I just saw your chat. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need a lot of resources over here. You know it'd be kind of cool if, if there was a temporary thing you could build to store stuff? You know, like in Grounded... It'd be, it'd be nice if you could, li like, leave a little thing with stakes so that way you could stack up a bunch of logs. So you could look like, you could put, like, a 10 stack times, like, 10 times 10 so you could put 100 logs in it. And then you could, like, that'd help you to build, like, a couple of houses and stuff. Because you do go through, uh, you do th go through wood pretty quickly when you're building, uh, roofs. Yeah, you can, uh, craft firewood, but not from sticks. Um, sticks can be used as a firewood, but not... I mean, actually, what what do we have for firewood so far? Uh, hmm. For firewood, we have... Or do we not have any? Oh, do we burn through? Oh, there it is. 82. Good. So we'll wait. We'll, we won't make any firewood on purpose then. And we'll hope that they burn through 1,400 sticks. Uh, let's see. 40 is what our max is. Let's go to... Yeah, 40. That's fine. I closed my YouTube and reloaded it, and chat's working fine now. All right, boys, you better do a F5. If you're watching on PC, just hit F5. If you're watching on your phone, just uh, maybe close the YouTube app and come on back. 
if you're having trouble with the chat. If you don't care about the chat, then you're, you're good to go. Don't worry. Boy, I sure hope uh, Super Chat is working. Huh. Hopefully somebody tests out a Super Chat or becomes a member soon. Is that like button working? I heard it could be broken. Better smash like to make sure that's functioning. Just just to be safe. <laughs> chat is stuck, weird. Uh yeah, I don't know I don't know what to say. YouTube's broken all You know what's the worst part about YouTube is that uh whenever something breaks, it'll be like broken for like one no reason. Two it'll be broken for like three or four days. And then when it's fixed, it'll be like, hey, we're getting reports of an issue. And then and then like two days later they're like, oh we fixed that four days ago. Like so a problem occurs, and it occurs for no reason for a long time. By the time YouTube acknowledges it, the problem's solved. And it's like, what? You didn't get the four million tweets of everyone telling you that there was a problem? Yeah, I know. Wow, we have a thousand rocks? Jeez. Barbzy with the five. I've restarted internet and computer three times now. Still can't see anything. Oh, that's awkward. That's really weird. Uh, Ken Eckert, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Well, I could see all your guys' chat. I, it's just going to have to be based on YouTube, I think. But don't worry, everybody's here. I wonder if I could bring it up on my screen. We could try that if you guys want. Dashy with the 99 cent smiley face. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. It's working now? Okay, I'll leave it alone and just know it's on YouTube's end. Austin Bauer is becoming a raptor egg as well. Damn. All those new raptor eggs. Welcome, all you. Big O's Circle 7 salute to all of you. And Jaybred, thank you very much for subscribing. All right, it's going to be a long day, but that's what you do when you're working on the farmstead, I guess. You know, honestly, I, I kind of want to... Um, I kind of legitimately want to go do this IRL. Like, I want to go join Townsend or something like that for like a weekend and just film an episode where I'm in tradition. I, I want to do some manual labor building like a barn or something or a blacksmith shop. Oh, that's what I'd like to build. It's like a like a black like an oven or like a blacksmith kiln or something like that or a forge. That'd be really cool. Also, I noticed Maria has upgraded to a raptor hatching. My chat has also frozen too. Great. Wow, you too. Pain in the neck. Let me refresh my chat too. Great. It's all broke. Yay, guys. We all we have so much in common. Yay. We have so much in common. That's wonderful. Switch back. So, yeah, if you're watching now and you don't see the chat or anything like that, it is broken, so it's not you. It's not you. It's me. That's YouTube, actually. Um, you're building a log cabin, IRL, cut down 100 pine. Oh, dude, you, you, need to, you need to send pictures like that to the Discord. David Grove with the Grove with the one dollar. Thank you very much for the support. Oh, your field workers should be working hard while you're away. Tested it out today. Yeah, that's what I heard. The update fixed villagers for not working when you're away from town, which stinks because it's like you you may have well have just done all the farming yourself if you had to stay in town. Weird. What we'll do is wait. Our farm. Wait, do we have people set to the farm or did I stop them? No, we have people working in the field, so hopefully they're just... Because the only thing they need to, left to do is... Um, the last thing for them to do is just do uh, flax harvest next season. <clears throat> what's some, what's Is there any plants I can plant in the summer? Isn't rye the only thing you can plant in the summer? No. I think you can plant carrots in the summer, can't No, I don't even need... I don't need food anymore. I need cash crops. Um, if you, I, okay, I see a bunch of super chats and memberships and stuff coming in. If you dropped a super chat or a membership and I forgot you, YouTube's broken, so I, I don't, thank you everybody. If you, if you dropped a super chat, thanks so much. If I missed your question or something, my deepest apologies. Keep, keep them coming if you want, but I, YouTube's so broken, I'm getting the same super chats over and over. Apparently. They're popping up in the chat. You guys only dropped them once, but I don't know what's going on. If you... If you want to build a log cabin, watch Shane John, Sh Sean John, Sean James's channel. Well, thank you. If you want to watch a uh, YouTuber build a fictional farm on the other side of a fictional river, watch me. You caught a live stream? Welcome. Good to see you. All right. If anybody comes in and reports a problem, just uh, 
you know, let them know we know what's up. But for now, let's focus on building our cabin. We won't make it tonight's focus. We'll focus on having fun and building our cabin. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So again, welcome to the new members tonight. Apparently, YouTube's saying we have zero, but uh, we're up to 42 out of 50 now. And I can see a couple of new ones. So thanks to the people who became members tonight. Oh, wow. And chat is just updated now and flying by. Uh, chat was broken in another stream a minute ago. I think YouTube's actually broken. Yeah, I was aware of that. Derby told me. And same with Nima. It's being weird. But it's okay. Sell the 1400 sticks. The problem with selling those sticks is that I'd have to carry those, and that's a tremendous waste of my time. Since I'm the only character who can build, I think what we're going to want to do is just uh, don't make any firewood for the wood season and then just let them burn sticks. Because, honestly, when winter comes around, we're only going to burn through about 4.2 sticks per hour. And um, I would rather just a lot of those sticks continue to be burned. Because we really don't need too many sticks. Unless we're going to make a lot of marshmallows. Anybody here uh, want to bring some marshmallows to the party? Let me know. Uh, nope, I only stream on YouTube, but our Twitch links are down below in the description. So today, yeah, today we're building a farm on the other side of the river. Not a, not a farm with uh, crops, but kind of like an animal, like a ranch. A petting zoo. For all sorts of tasty meats. You know, I'm wondering in the future, you know, what would be kind of neat is if they separated the meats. Because they have fish in the game, right? And then they have fish, and then they have meat. It would be kind of cool if they designated different types of meat so you can make different things. Like, if you were to get a whole turkey and put that into a pot, that would be like a huge meal. That could that could feed an entire family for a day. You know, a family of four to have a whole chicken to, like, eat? That's That could be... that They'd be stuffed. So that'd be a really good thing. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Take a bath. Yeah, again, that's a waste of time if you're not going to go chat up the ladies. And Raymond Pringle becoming a raptor hatchling. Thank you very much for your support. I do see that. Thank you. All right, anything we don't put into our barn, we can pro... You know, I should probably put the barn over here. How are we going to lay this out? Maybe we'll put an entrance to our farming area here where there's less... Ah, this would be a perfect entrance. And then we could try to build our barn right here. Uh, the animals we can start with are chickens, and I think geese are unlocked too, so we'll start with birds. And then we're going to... Um, I want to get a pigsty so we don't have to worry about manure anymore. Do you guys know in chat, have they fixed it so that way they, the workers use an inventory? The workers you use inventory. Uh, Raymond upgrading to a raptor hatchling, to be precise. Thank you, Raymond. Let's get some more stone. We'll have one more delivery of stone. Where's building materials? Rock. Oh, yeah. I keep looking for stone every time I think of that. Because technically, I think of it as a stone cabin, not like a... Or not a rock house. Bum, bum, bum. We have two mines. We have one mine that's near Hornica and another one that's near Baranica in the north. And we got a lot of people bringing in iron, so that's really good. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I want there to be a cart in the game to carry like 100 kilos of stuff. A balancing thing would be to make sure you can't sprint with it. Indigo Witch, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Bum, 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 bum. New member. Yeah, I'd like to put the barn closer to the bridge. Um, the problem is there's these bushes here, and I don't know if I can remove them. I mean, I could put an entrance here. I just want it to look right, but since we can't remove bushes and we can't really do much terraforming, I kind of have to go with the lay of the land. Bum, bum. Uh, did you cheat in rep points? Uh, yes, we did bring in some rep points before they patched it. So that way we could continue to see the game. Luckily, they did fix it later where you were getting one or two rep points from mission. 
and they later fixed it to where you could have like t 15 or 30. Think about that. You'd have to complete 30 quests just to get what you could get with one now. It's like, that doesn't feel right. That takes way too long. Like, it is supposed to be a bit of a grind, but there is such a thing as like having fun and being productive and feeling accomplished and then it just being way too mundane and boring. So luckily I think they, I think they made the right choice in giving you more rep points. I guess the alternative could have been instead of giving you more rep points for mission, maybe requiring less for your dynasty. So like you could have still earned one or two, but maybe instead of having the quest give you 5,000, you just get like 500. And, well, no, 500 was the start and you needed about like, I don't know. I, I just, I don't think anybody wants to do a hundred tedious, boring quests to get the points that they need. That wouldn't have been as fun. Bomb. But we pretty much have everything done in the game now, quest-wise. The only thing we really have to do is... Well, there's Unigas story, which says to wait for further events, but... There's really nothing else for us to do aside from just build and unlock stuff. By, um... You know, having our farm and stuff functioning, so... Rep when you pay taxes was a fine idea. Yeah, I thought that'd be good. Like, you know, like Monopoly, pass, go, collect $200. It'd be nice if, you know, you build a new house, you get a little bit of rep. You recruit a new person, you get a little bit of rep. It would have been cool if there were other ways to get rep. So that way, no matter where your focus was, you could earn rep, you know, depending on how you wanted to play the game. So it's like, if you wanted to... Um, if you wanted to earn points from doing a bunch of quests, you could. If you were just you wanted to be a farmer, just lets the player do whatever they want. And that's there's something nice in that. Yeah, they need wagons or carts in the game. All right, well let's take a sip. But again, the developers they have a roadmap. They know what they want. I think the development team has been really. I don't think they expected this game to be as, like, widely and amazingly received as it is. But I really would like to see some mods for this game where... Or or some something in this game where you can do stuff in, like, the uh, revolutionary war times in the U.S. Like, it'd be really cool if you could actually, like, build a cool settlement or something on the eastern coast of the United States during, you know, revolutionary war times. It would be amazing. Or, the you know, the initial colonies. Something along that. Uh, line and then um, you know you'd have muskets and stuff that'd be super cool and then of course the other thing being um, the Wild West Dynasty which they've already confirmed so that's pretty exciting oh yeah this game is very much being actively developed uh, pretty much every what oh I'm carrying a hammer that's why I said that pretty much every day there's some updates from the devs so this year in our game for the next year, we're going to be focused on building that farm and then eventually building some new houses and recruiting workers. So we're finally focused on getting animals in our farm. It'd be pretty cool. Dimitri, thanks for subbing. Welcome aboard. If you're watching now and haven't subbed, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Don't miss out. Thanks to all of you smashing that like button to support. Appreciate that. I wonder if our son's three yet. Is he three now? Oh, he's four. I think he has to be five before we can chat with him and make him do stuff. Oh, good. Looks like the flax is ready to go. Are these fields glitched out? No, the AI did those fields. I did these fields. Is flax really that short? In Donna Man, I thought flax was like chest high. I guess not. Uh, yeah, windmill would be cool. I would like to see a windmill. You know what I'll have to do one year is, like, get outfitted for a Renaissance Festival outfit and, like, go live stream from the Renaissance. And be like, say hi to everybody watching. Watching? Witch! And then you guys can watch me, uh, you know, go through some witch trials. It'll be cool. That'll be fun. All right, let's see. Um... So we're going to build a new building. Resource barn number three. We need ten logs for that. Boom. New subscriber shout out. Um, building storage resource barn three. Perfect. We can also put another food building over here too because I guess it'd be a pretty good spot to bring all the eggs. Oh, wait. Before we do this, let's save. Let's make sure we save now. 
Would be nice if the game let you uh, title your saves, by the way. I'll be saving here so I can do some recordings on these custom builds later. Ba -da -ba -da. Uh, if you're chatting now and I miss your chat, please don't take it personally. I uh, am aware that there's some problems in YouTube chat right now, so if there's a delay, if something happens, it's not you. There seems to be a YouTube-wide problem right now, so just keep that in mind. Uh, what should I do? I had a wife on year three, babies now years four shot. moments ago. Uh, get married to have a baby. Oh, uh, the, the game will recognize your... If your quest is to get married and have a baby... Um, and you've already done it, you just need to wait for the next season. It might be the next day, but I think it's confirmed to be the next season. So if it's the first day of spring, you'll just have to wait till the first day of summer. You'll be okay. It worked for me. Okay, I think we're good to go. Bum. Oh, uh, we need to lay our barn out. So let's see. Yeah, water-driven mail would be cool. New types of tech in the game. See, right here, there's like a perfect path built right here. Ah, man, I really want the ability to build roads and stuff. So cool how the devs are like overwhelmed with ideas and excitement from the from the player base. It's really exciting. Okay, so this is the water. So we want to build right about probably right about here. I'll try to build it to the left a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's probably a really good spot. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Yep. I think that was a good spot to build. We can come down into here and we can go right into the resource barn or we can turn right. And then we'll put like a chicken coop here. Pig sty. And we can have a walkway all the way down here. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get building, boys. Bum, bum. You want to buy this game, but you have an older graphics card? I wonder, I wonder what the game looks like on low quality. Should we do that just for a meme? Should we throw everything down to low? Let's see. Let's put everything on a way to do it easy. What is, what is Defoe? Is that William? What is DFAO? William Defoe? Is he in the game? Sharpness? Field of view? Oh, that's, yeah. Nah, if I have to do it one at a time, I don't want to have to do it. I'm too lazy. Now, let's build the barn completely from scratch. That's how lazy I am. Yeah, you can uh, build a road by plowing, but it doesn't really give the result I want. I really want it to look like a road. I'm a little picky when it comes to building those roads. Oh, did we build everything? Good. Okay, let's get some stones. And we'll continue to build those walls. Oh, they have new construction sounds now when you complete. Excellent. Neil, thanks for the two ninety nine. Hmm. I don't think that's necessary. It makes it sound like the wall's crumbling. Bad sound if you hit a wall and it makes that sound. You got the quest two seasons ago and it's not recognized it? Mm. See if you can reload before you got the quest. Oh, I don't know. You might need to uh, jump on the Steam community page for that and see if there's a solution. Or maybe maybe the... I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that sounds needed. It does let you know that a, a wall is complete, but you know that because it goes from being bright green to being complete. Bom, bom. Luckily, I brought over plenty of rocks and plenty of wood for the gables and for the roof, too. It'd be kind of neat if we could build roads out of other materials or upgrade the pre-existing roads in the game to be made of, like, uh, maybe, you know, gravel or something. I 
All right, well, that's it for the rocks. Dr. Bo with the five. Chat definitely needs a vaccine. Remember to hit the like button for the stream so you are subscribed for updates. Absolutely. Lady Jinx, I enjoy watching your face mess up in the green walls. Yes, it is. It makes me look cuter, doesn't it? You can't see me at all. And you can't call me ugly if you can't see me. Ooh, that made a nice noise. Listen to that kerchunk. Listen again. Here we go. Hmm. Eh. New subscriber shout out. I don't know, it sounds like somebody just tipping over a Jenga. Wait, is that three logs? That's gonna be a little bit of a walk. Bum 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 bum. Nice. Uh, this will be done then once we get these two on this side done. So we just need nine more logs, but we can just carry a full stack with us. Huh. And boom, we are done, baby. Wow, I didn't need to take out all those rocks, but if we ever need it for a building... We are good to go. All right, what are we going to build next? Let's do a... Let's see, we could build a hen house. Or a goose house. I think we should build a far, uh, fence around the farm first. Uh, Defoe is distance, field, ambient occlusion, according to Google. No, I think it's William Defoe. Okay, so let's see. Um... Yeah, you're probably right. Wow, the ladies have made almost 50 iron hammers. What was the math again? 14 gives you... I think it's... Four, if you sell 14 hammers, I think you get 1,000 gold. So we have over 2,000 gold right there. That's nice. Cecil, thank you very much for becoming a member. You are now a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome. Absolutely. Um, Let's try to build a... Oh, you know what? Let's use all of our sticks, man. We got like 1,400 sticks. Let's build a nice stick fence. Let's try to use... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to take a big old pile of sticks. This is going to be our life now. We are going to be uh, in... We're now a stick person. I don't know what... I don't know what the word would be. Okay, so far so good. Before we lay out this fence, let's save. Always a good idea to save before we get crazy with the sticks. And if you guys can hear me too, by the way, just to confirm that things are not wrong with uh, YouTube, please do uh, click or tap that like button. Let me know you're here or say hi in chat. Things have been awfully weird for YouTube. In terms of like uh, the live stream chat. Okay, let's go with that one. Chat works again? Uh, for some, I don't know. All, so all of a sudden, 500 messages came through? Okay. Well, just, just confirm that it's working for you, I guess. And know you're not alone if there's problems. Uh, we could build a stone fence now. Hmm. Oh, you're looking to join. Excellent. Click or tap the join button next to the subscribe button now. I think we'll save the stone wall. Well, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of a stone wall. We are we are using... Actually, you know what? Now that we've got all these extra materials coming in... I mean, we're getting a ton of materials. All right. Let's do this. Let's put a stone wall around... Well, we'll start with stone and see how it looks. If we don't like it, we can change it. Let's start with a stone wall instead. And then, if we don't like that, we can change to the sticks, to which we have plenty of both materials coming in, and we'll be good. It's fine. We're good. Actually, I don't need this. Grab that clay. Bum, 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 bum. Don't be a stick in the mud. Yeah, I see. I see you, chat. I see what you're trying to do. All right. 
How do we unlock stone walls? There. Stone fence. 1500. Boom. Unlocked. Now, what does that take for material to build? We need to have one stick on us. Did I not carry sticks? I guess not. Sticks are needed to lay out the blueprints of it. Then you need... Uh, Play. <laughs> Play and uh, stone, I think. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's see how this goes. Luckily, we don't need to be very fast. Ooh, this is rotten now. Better not eat that. Bum, 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 bum. Sticks. Maybe we'll go... F yeah, we'll go 25. Okay, one at a time. Good. Very good. Okay, let's see how this works. I thought we needed clay to build that, but I guess not. Wow. I really like the stone fences. New member, welcome. Well, that looks nice. Looks way more permanent. There we go. All right. So we don't need clay. Well, apparently it, it didn't use any sticks to make that. I carried 25. You need a stick, but maybe you gather it when you pick it back up or something. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, the hammer in the game is just kind of the generic building tool for everything. Otherwise, you'd have to carry like a... You'd have to carry all sorts of different tools for everything you tried to build. Like if you're going to put up a stone wall, you need something. New member. Stick wall, you need something. Oh, wow, YouTube is sending out all sorts of crazy late notices. Today's fun, isn't it? Yay. Okay. Well, that's a good step complete. That's good. Yeah, the stone fence really looks nice here. Um, it seems a lot more permanent, so I kind of like would like to put it in my other village, but maybe I could put it... Uh, when we're done building all the other fishing villages and stuff, maybe I could put stone walls around like the backyards of some of the houses or something. It seems like stone walls are nice for when you're trying to separate a whole area though and since this is kind of going to be its own spot it'll make sense to build it separately bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. no I'm not addicted to Medieval Dynasty. I could stop anytime I wanted. You got 
You guys just keep watching it. That's why you guys can stop watching anytime you want. You could stop. You could stop watching anytime you want. You just don't want to because you know you want to keep watching the number one community on YouTube. That's what it is. You guys just want to be in the chat. I know you chat. Okay, and then our entrance will be right here. So let's put like a let's change it. Maybe put like a little fence here instead. It's weird though. I can't. It won't let me build something specifically here. Oh, there it goes. It'll let me build something here. Should I build a stone wall here? Ah, there we go. We'll build it up to the tree. Nice. And then what I can do is, uh, it looks nice. I like how we incorporated the tree into it. Damn straight. That looks good. New subscriber shout out. Robert, thank you very much for subbing. Appreciate having you here. Yeah, it's lots of fun in this game to build, and even more importantly, like, design things. To, like, lay out how stuff's gonna look is pretty cool. This is a fun part right here. You think they look like payday candy? That's funny. You might be right about that. Okay, we'll go with more stone walls. It's kind of weird how, like, stone walls are kind of like the end game, like the last thing you unlock as if they're some sort of breakthrough technology. Like, oh yeah, let's uh, take stones and then put them on top of each other. Okay. Yeah. Our, le our head scientist thought of that. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. Welcome again to all the new subs, too. Notifications will be goofed up. Sound effects will be goofed up. YouTube's broken, so... What else is new? I like in this game how they really don't get picky about how close we build to the road. Like, there's not, like, a restriction in building near the road. Yeah, I think the, the defensive wall should be the last thing. And in fact... It would be cool if, you know, they went to more, uh, higher level walls, like, uh, castle walls, that type of thing. Okay, there's a little bit of gap in some of these, but that's just how it is, so that's okay. Yeah, I guess r rocks are definitely cutting-edge technology. Okay. Block walls, I mean, yeah, or bigger, uh, rock walls. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, we're gonna need some more. Bum, bum. Uh, there they are. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, road building would be great. When you got the mines up and running, you could take all the extra rocks once you built your town to connect to other towns. So you'd be able to build all sorts of roads and bridges out of stone would be amazing. And maybe be able to have like smooth stone by bringing it to a stone cutter. Be able to cut in everything into nice squares. 
Camille, thank you for seven. Time to switch then, and uh, we'll keep on building our wall. So I think what we'll do is wall off a little bit of the land down the road, and we do have plenty of territory for. Oh my God, Mom maybe made like pizza a rolls. Stable in the future, we'll see. Yeah, benches is something that I'd like to make in this game. A lot of decorative pieces haven't been implemented yet, but I would like to see it. I fear that maybe. The developers might be afraid that maybe AI would get stuck on them if they're walking around, but they seem to do okay already in the uh, the villages, which are pre-made. Bom, bom, bom. Yeah, this isn't this uh, game isn't uh, progressing through medieval times. It is taking place in those times, but you're playing one person who survive like 30 years in those times. Uh, there's no other way to sell things, no. You either ditch it in the river or you... Uh... Look at those people over there walking through the river. Okay, we'll build it this wall this wall this long to start with. And if we need more ground, we'll just keep going down the, the pathway. In fact, we can make a separate entrance over here. We can make an entrance right here then to get into the second part of the place. Yes. Okay, so we need about ten more rocks and we're done. I thought a stone wall would take way more resources, but it seems like it was pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Ah, we're in the late game right now. Late game is pretty easy once you got all the materials. But, uh, like all things, you want more and more and more. You want more people, more businesses, more money, more quests, more gold, more things to build. Oh, we only need ten. Okay, cool. Yeah, it would be nice if we could build roads and bridges. That'd be cool. And then we can make shortcuts through places. New subscriber shout -out. However, they don't make a construction sound for when you finish the walls. That'd be nice. New okay. Well, now we have our third barn, so we've got even more storage space, plus I think a thousand, so we should be up to... Yeah, 4,200 now. Great. So we got room for plenty of sticks. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. So we have 25 sticks. I think what we want to do now... Take a look around. We'll make a pathway here. I think the first thing I want to do is maybe build a chicken coop up against the barn. We'll consider this to be our barn. It's a, you know, it's a resource building, but since it's here, it's to support the uh, chicken coops and other things. So farming, hen house takes six logs. I think we could build that here. Oh, then we can go buy our first animals and see what it's like to buy animals in the game. Not done that before. Cool. In fact, I'll make another save here so I can maybe do it for another video. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, you want to be able to domesticate rabbits and things? Yeah, I guess animals were valuable back then based on what they could do aside from just meat. Like, a lot of those animals can be eaten, but, you know, chickens have eggs, cows have milk, sheep have their wool, geese have their feathers, so everything had, like, an extra purpose. Uh, what do we want to build with? Yes, yeah, six logs. Bum, bum. No, it's not that we also need unlimited storage. It's also convenience of picking things up. So, like, for example, if we build a resource barn, all of if we have resource barns all over the map, we don't have to come back to base to grab stuff. So if I'm here, 
doing like a bunch of something. Like if I'm doing a bunch of building here, otherwise I'd have to walk all the way across the river every time. So when I wanted to build that wall, rather than coming here, I would have had to gone all the way across the river all the time. So you could build you could build this resource barn as like a temporary like spawn point for your materials. And then once you're done, you can delete it. But it just seems nice to have more of them. And it just seems realistic because there's lots of things that need to be stored in this game. All right. Oh, wait, we have a pigsty too? Okay, so we can build ourselves the hen house, goose house, and pigsty. Nice. Well, let's build a hen house here. I'll get to that sip in a minute. Actually, let's build the hen house here. And then I'll put a nice little fence around it from the back up to here. Perfect. Uh, wait, do we need more... What do we need? Oh, it takes sticks and... Okay, we need a lot of sticks and logs. Okay, we have the logs. We just need the sticks. Okay, let's see how this goes. There goes our hammer. Welcome again to the new members. Thanks, guys, for smashing like and subscribing and hanging out. If you're new here, welcome aboard. It's a pleasure to have everybody with us. Hope you're all enjoying so far. We've got quite a bit to build today. So you're all in luck if it's your first time. Okay, we're going to need ourselves a little snack. We'll go grab some water, too. Hi, Chad. Billy Nelson here, and you're lucky I'm here. Thanks, Billy. Okay, let's do uh, a couple iron hammers. Good. Just one roof? Oh, it's like four sections of the roof. Okay, well, that would be nice for the chickens to go up into. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, brewery is coming soon. The tavern. We already have a tavern. So the ability to sell alcohol there or to sell it to the neighbors would be great. It would give them a lot more to do farming for cash crops rather than just uh, food. Food is really easy in this game. After the... You kind of have to get past the start, but after a while it comes pretty easy to find. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. All right, the hen house is complete. Let's put a farm around it now. Yes, K Operation KFC is a go. That is correct. Chicken confirmed. So let's grab a bunch of sticks. The first KFC ever was built right here. That's right. So even if this, uh, even if we make this too big or whatever, I don't care. It's just, we're just building this for fun. This is just for fun.
Kind of hard to get that perfect 90 degree angle, but we'll go for it. She'll be close. Uh, one thing we've learned too is that you got to be a little extra wide on some of these things. Can I make a tiny little... Just a little tiny... Uh oh. Can you delete this? Ah, I think you can delete stick fences now. Oh, good. Nice. They updated that as well, because before you had to build stuff, you couldn't, like, delete uh, blueprints, so that's actually a good thing. That's muy bueno. Uh, there are not gates at the moment. There's, uh, only jobs. Bum, bum, bum. Trying to make a little bit of a gate, though. Maybe what I'll do is, uh, remove this one. Oh, I didn't mean to remove the whole thing. That's okay. Let's build this half and then we'll go to bed. Yeah, this game's in early access. A lot here for early access, for sure. Yeah, we don't have chicken wire at the moment, unfortunately. That's not going to exist for a long time. Oh, right, that's good enough to start. Let's head home. Game really needs torches, though, and stuff for uh, roadways and things. But I guess these were the Dark Ages for a reason. Nobody could figure out how to pay their bill online. And so thus power was cut off. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. Everybody seems to be going to the bar tonight. I'm going to bed so I can actually see stuff. The stream's been enough to uh, sell you on the game already. That's good. There's a lot here. That For this being pre-release, there's a very amount, big amount of stuff to do. I mean, everything you see in this village, I built myself. The fence, the house, the fence going down here. Every building I constructed, and there's some really nice pre-constructed um, villages in the game. They're really pretty. Oh, you used the stone fires to light your village? Yeah, but don't you have to light those yourself manually every day? I just haven't used those because I don't want to have to do anything manually. It'd just be nice if you could put a torch on a like a pole and just have it auto burn just for looks okay let's build a little gate here Remember, welcome. This might be off a little bit. It's okay, we'll make it angled. We're not going for perfect, we're just going for nice. Uh, thanks again, guys, for becoming members. YouTube's all goofed up, so for new members and such, if I miss you, my apologies. But welcome to everybody who clicked or tapped join today. And thanks for all the support. Uh, I don't see any benches in the game yet. But that is, I, I'd really like to be able to build a picnic table for my, uh, my tavern. This game's got a lot of customization options. More than what I would expect for an alpha, so I hope there's more in the future. Including building, like, making trees and stuff inside the village. It'd be really cool to, like, plant a couple of trees on a road or something in the village.
Yeah, I don't like uh, the quest being stuck behind, or uh, some of the tech being stuck behind, like tech wall. Like buildings are stuck behind tech walls, and it's like I could understand that maybe at the start because the game doesn't want you to go too far into it, and maybe you know if if you're playing for a new player, you'd probably want to take things slow. Because technically in this game, I haven't died once or really had any sort of difficulties. Like, there hasn't been a time where I've died in this game where, like, I, I was trying really hard not to die. Like, I, the couple times that I died, it was just me experimenting and trying to goof off. Like, when I made, uh, like, 300 pottage and then walked away and realized, wait, when I came back, I died because I ran out of food and water. Neo Sisson, thank you very much for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. It's kind of cool. There's chicken feed here, and there's possibly that's for water, maybe. New can we go up in here. Oh, we can actually go up inside and see. Oh, that's oh cool. you're looking to join. Excellent. Click or tap the join button next to the subscribe button now. That's really cool. All right, so now we can get some chickens going. Nice. Damn straight. That looks cool. <laughs> that looks really cool. All right, piggies. Where are we gonna put piggies? right here. This would be a good spot. Alright, let's save. That's beautiful. Yeah, my character fell permanently asleep while making food. In other words, he died to death. Always a good idea to save repeatedly in this game. You never know. Never know. Okay, let's build the pigsty. Welcome to those new subs. Pigsty requires eight logs. You got it. Let's grab a stack of like ten. Bomb bomb. Dying to death, yeah, it's a real, it's a real problem. In fact, I believe ten out of ten people will die at some point in their life. Okay, let's try uh, putting down the old pigsty. Actually, if we put down a pigsty, should probably put it somewhere where there's well, the piggies would like shade, wouldn't they? I just want to try not to cut down any trees in here. I don't want to, I don't want to goof up with any trees. Hmm. Could put a pigsty here. And then build a fence around it. We could also put it here. But I feel that's a little close to the water. I kind of want to put it towards the road. And we could also put it here. Ah, we could put it here and then put a fence around these trees, maybe. We have to, like, we have to harness our inner f feng sh shui, our inner egg foo young. Mm. Now I'm hungry. This might be a good area here for the uh, cows, actually. It's a nice wide area. Or we could put the, uh, well, we could put the cows over here, actually. Lots of open space. Oh, you know what we should do? We could separate this and put another wall here to go into another area of the thing. Yeah, I, d I don't want to cut the trees out of the way. For something, something's just telling me to leave them there. Because they're also kind of on a incline here. I think there's a little bit of an incline here. Hmm. Well, we could put down the goose house over here. Let's do that. Let's put the goose house here. This is a good spot for it. The geese are not too... Uh, they don't need a lot of space. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's perfect. Then I'll put a little fence here so they can go over. They can mingle here in this area. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. That's that's good. Muy bueno. That right there is worth at least 700,000 likes. So I hope we at least get one. Bum, bum, bum. First, then, first chicks, then chickens, or just chickens? Um, I don't know how it works. I don't know if I have to like buy two chickens, like a hen and a rooster. Or... I don't know. I guess I'll build it. Build, if I build it, they will come. That's how it works. I saw that once in a movie, and I'm pretty sure it'll work. I mean, it works at McDonald's, right? If they build it, usually people end up going there. Works for McDonald's. Bom, bom, bom. Okay, so we got a big old building to wow. build. Wow. I know. Thatch? Oh, yeah. One thing I forgot about. New bum, subscriber bum. Shout out. Okay, random stuff. Thanks for subscribing. A new subscribe. Let's see. Straw times 20. I suppose we'll do it. That's right. It weighs nothing. It doesn't matter. Beautiful. All right, the goose house is complete. Very nice. And then we'll build a fence around that. I think these stick, simple stick fences are best. New subscriber shout out. But let's fancy it up a little bit for the geese. The geese are a little fancy, so let's. Let's give them a nice little fence. Can I make like a little... I bet I can make one back here. Eh, close enough. Some things in this game you just gotta get close because it's a game and not real life, so some precision is lacking, but we're not building a space shuttle here. We're, build <laughs> we're building a little geese house. It takes two logs. I feel like one log would be more than enough for that stuff. Chickens only give you eggs? Yeah. That's true. Luckily, we don't need any more meat in this game. I've got so much... Uh, we've got so much meat and so much pottage that literally I could feed... Everybody in chat... If you smash like, you get a free lifetime supply of pottage. You're welcome. What's up, MVB? How you doing? Now, the next thing we need to do is build the uh, the the, the uh, dipping sauce facility for all those McNuggets we're about to make. Oh, dude, this is looking amazing. Look at how things changed very very quickly. That is amazing. See, now I wish we could put down, like, a bench down here and, like, a, you know, like, a couple of barrels and some other, you know, like, a wheelbarrow sitting here would be great. Really cool stuff. Cowshed is a big boy building, so I think what we're going to want to do... You know what? I want to put the pigs in a uh, stone... I want to fence them in with stone. That's what I want to do for the piggies. Bum, 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 bum. 
Yeah, from laying waste to the world with nuclear weapons to... Well, we're restarting from scratch now. We're, we're back in the Dark Ages. Who knows? Maybe this game actually is taking place in the future after a nuclear war. This is mankind, like, rebuilding. Who knows? Well, I'm kind of with Skull here. If we remove these trees, we would be able to put the pigsty here. But I'm only willing to remove two of them. We'll keep this one tree here. So let's grab our uh, axe and start clearing some land. Where's the guns? This is Europe. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's do, uh... Wait, how hungry am I? Yeah, we're f we need... <laughs> we need pottage. Uh, one of those will do. And then... I guess I better build a pigsty. No, we gotta cut the trees down. Cut the trees down. Where's the wine then? I don't know if they'll actually do a wine update. They will have beer and like al alcohol coming. And, and since they're going to have honey, because they're gonna have bees, they might actually, yeah, the bees are first before the alcohol update. So they might allow for mead and stuff like that. Wait, in order to remove a tree, you need to be able to, uh... Wow, this is just, this is just so cool. I just want to keep saving it. This is so cool. I don't... Honestly, I don't really even care about the, uh... Like, the function of these buildings. I just like the whole fact that I got to, like, build a fence and lay it all out. Like, that's really cool. A vineyard would be cool, though. Yeah, winemaking would be amazing. I just don't know... Well, they do... Well, they... Actually, they do have berries in the game. Like, they have cherries and... You know, berries that you can pick. So I wouldn't be surprised if they had some sort of a... Wine that you could build. Ah, shovels required to remove those. Okay. Oh, I wish trees made a noise when they fell. But, very minor. Very minor thing in this game. You know what would be really cool? Is for a lot of you guys who've subscribed recently to the channel for this game, it'll be cool a year from now, if you guys are still subbed, we come back and like do a year in review, where it's like, we'll go back and watch a few minutes of a stream, like right now. Hi, Raptor. Hey, buddy. Cool. Yeah, we'll come back, uh, you know, in the future and see like everything that's changed from the game. It'd be really cool to see, like, all the things... You know, like, if you go back and look at Minecraft 1.0 versus now, it's like, wow. A whole, it's, a, it's like a whole different game. There's so many things that change. You guys might want to say hi to your future self, by the way, if you're here in a year. You might want to give yourself a shout-out. Oh, what? Oh, that's it? That's all it takes to remove a tree? That's it, huh? All right, hopefully those trees don't grow back. It'll be a little awkward if I build the pigsty and there's actually, uh, you know, a tree stump growing through it. But Okay, so if we're going to build a pigsty, I think we should build the pigsty this way. Under the tree. And as close to the wall as we can without it going a little too wonky on us. Ah, perfect, perfect. I like it, I like it. And then we should be able to build the stone wall like this. Yes, beautiful. When you remove the stumps, it's permanent? Okay. Well, I've seen... It may be permanent, but uh, I've seen... People having problems where stumps are growing through their houses again after an update, so hopefully that doesn't uh, cause us trouble. Damn, how do I get rid of these berry bushes? Uh, well, uh, we'll have to make do. I guess these pigs will be very happy, so that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just make this go all the way over to... 
Actually, we'll make it go here. Perfect. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, pl plant a farm plot and then destroy it? Will that get rid of the berries? I, I do kind of want the berries out of here, honestly. Now uh, we'll have to get rid of the fence. Alright, hold on. Okay, that's gone now. Okay. Aha! Ooh, that's looking good. Okay, let's try one more. Aha! Cool. And let's get rid of the ones up here, too. Nice. Good job, chat. Looks beautiful. Big brains in chat, please. Good work, everybody. That looks pretty nice. So we can get rid of some of these other bushes that are kind of awkwardly in the middle of the pathway. Okay, let's get rid of this one too then, for now. Big, big brains. Big brains. Okay. Hopefully these don't grow back. Over here it's okay. This is all good over here. And, yep, that looks fine, too. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, dare to ask how much time you've invested in this narcotic level game? Let's, uh, let me tap back in. We have invested 80 hours in the game. 83 hours. How much time does everybody have in this game? How much have you guys played this game? And don't tell me zero. Because I know you're playing this game. How far did I want this to go? Yeah, I think that's probably good. And then right up here to this joint. Ooh, cool. Oh, that'll fit nicely. Okay. Oh, we gotta go get some rocks now. Bum, bum, bum. We'll finish the pigsty later. Let's finish the fence first. Bum, bum. What's up, Carlos? Hello from Brazil. You're one of the best gameplays of this game. It's certainly a lot of fun to play this game, that's for sure. Especially with you guys. You've all been pretty uh, patient and have really enjoyed the playthrough. So thanks to everybody and their kindness and patience and contributions. It's been really fun to build stuff in this game. Uh, we're getting hungry, I can tell. And we go and need some water. So let's finish. We can let's finish the fence before we need water. Bum, 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 bum. Too bad putting down fields doesn't change the ground unless we put the field down permanently, but it would be nice if there was like a spray paint tool to just change how the ground looked. So that way you could go to a certain area and like spray paint it like, you know, gravel or something. Uh, the schedule and what we're doing next is down below in the description. So make sure you check the schedule to know what we're doing next. Make sure you subscribe to know what we're doing next. And make sure you turn on the notification bell to know what we're doing next. As well as check the description down below for a schedule of live streams and upcoming videos. And make sure that you've also uh, turned your notifications on. Check the on. description down below for a schedule of live streams and upcoming videos. Look at that. There you go. 
Uh, the shovel's used for digging clay and uh, removing tree stumps for now. Bum, 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 bum. All right, Rich, thanks for being here. The shovel might be able to do more in the future. I, I could imagine it maybe being used for other things, too. Maybe some sort of terraforming that they might allow the... Like, for example, with the hammer, there's several options, so the... The YouTuber, shovel... YouTuber, when is the Fortnite stream? Shovel would be a good tool for that. Fortnite soon, Billy. Fortnite soon. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, dino inside a box. It's a good idea. Don't, uh... Oh, I didn't even make a way to get into this place. Lol. Uh, we'll just build it here. I'll redo this fence. <laughs> I didn't even make a way to get in here. Good. All right, now let's this build. YouTuber sucks. I Mom, don't suck. My hot pocket? I'm as good as a hot pocket. Now let's go get some sticks. Yeah, that was an easy fix. Okay, build one here. Ah, we need more sticks. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. Let's see. Stone fence. That's fine. Okay. Hey, give me one in chat, by the way, if you were here for our earlier Grounded stream. If you saw all the new stuff for the super secret base that they've added, the new stuff for the hedge base, which if you've missed, by the way, is on the channel, too. Oh, you're looking to join. Excellent. Oh. Click or tap the join button next to the subscribe button now. Is somebody looking to join? That'd be awesome. Well, would you look at that? We actually have a hundred and... No, we have uh What is that for iron? 228. Wow. We started with 180, now it's up to 228, so we definitely need to hire two more people and put them on blacksmithing. Money is not a problem anymore in the game, and same as food. That's why I just want to build stuff now, like, I want there to be no restrictions in what I can build in this game. Can I get a shout-out? Be sure to click or tap subscribe, or become a member today. I kept dying. Well, dying is kind of, sometimes in Grounded you can die because... Uh, if you lose your stuff, it's really hard to stay alive, or it's easy to, like, teleport that way. Like, if you run into an area, and then you just need to get out, you can just die to, to go back. So sometimes it's all part of the plan. But that game certainly has a lot more enemies. That game is br brutal sometimes, but man, do I love that game. So if you missed anything on Grounded, make sure you go watch the uh, channel to see what you may have missed. That's a good game. If you haven't seen it, it's another great survival building game, for sure. Okay. It is absolutely 100% that you cannot build a uh, a stone fence unless you've got like a uh, Oh my god, mine. mom made pizza rolls. Pizza rolls. Okay, let's see. Let's do what? 7 more stone. Seven more stone. Let's get a bunch of sticks. Bunch of straw. And we probably need some logs. Let's go with like... Go with like the max. There we go. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum. Yeah, they, they actually added a new spider to that game, which was cool. They added like a junior orb weaver spider. And he's a lot smaller, but he's still just as tough. And he's inside the, uh... The hedge base, which was pretty cool. 
Uh, you can you can find bases in grounded, and you can also build them too. You can do both. Like, like you can find uh, laboratories, and then you can build a base within the laboratory. And sometimes they give you materials in the base in the labs to make bases, so they can become a base. Just remember, all your base are belong to me. Wow, we got almost 60 hammers. That's damn near uh, 4,000 gold. Beautiful. That'll pay for taxes every year. So we gotta have like one blacksmith just working to pay taxes, and we should have another one to make uh, stuff that we need to like, s like sell stuff. In other words, like to make uh, stuff to uh, continue to gather resources on our own if we're gonna do like a different quest project. We're gonna build like another blacksmith and then equip it with the order to like make arrows. And the other one we can leave for making shovels for ourselves. Good stuff. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. You're watching from the Philippines? Hi there. We've got a lot of people watching from the Philippines. India, South Africa. Okay, so we need three logs plus... Oh, actually, two more. So five logs. Okay. And that'll be the pigsty complete. Now we're also going to need animal feeds, so even though we built these buildings, we better do it one at a time so that way the animals don't starve. I don't know how quickly they eat uh, feed. So we might actually have to have one of our... Oh, that's another thought too. We might need to make a farm on this side just to grow like wheat for animal feed or whatever, whatever they might eat. So we might have to have one more field and somebody maintain it just so we can have... Uh, food for the animals every year. Or, since we've made so much food, we could just have one year where we just do animal feed only for an entire year and then store it because it'll be in grain form. I have a feeling, too, that bread's going to last a lot longer than um, some of the other stuff we make. I think the higher level foods last longer. Bom, 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 bom. Let's see. Beautiful pigsty complete. Uh, wheat and straw to make animal feed? Okay. Well, what we'll need to do is... Uh, figure out exactly how that works. And then we'll be able to make a farm in, in accordance with it. So if we need to do any farming for animal feed, there's a great field right up there. So I can like start making fields here. And then we can have a cow shed here. We can make the cow its own separate thing. Like, what we can do is build a cow shed here, build this wall the rest of the way, and then kind of make a fence so the cows can't go into the water too far. You make that in the barn, the actual barn? Okay. So it's 10 straw and 10 wheat to make grain. Okay. So we might build a barn here too then to convert that stuff for animal feed. Might be a good idea to build a barn here actually for that. So if we build a barn... I think we'll build the barn here then. And we can build the cow shed next to that. Because there's plenty of flat area here and then make some fields up there. Cool. Uh, uh. Alright, let's head home. We'll come back tomorrow. We've made an incredible amount of progress, boys. That is awesome. If you guys are loving it and want to see more of this game, smash that like button too. We've really made a lot of progress here, so I want to make sure I still got your support in this game because I love it. And I'm glad you're addicted to my addiction. That's good. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody's trying to break into the uh, tavern. There we go. Oh, hey. Was that a hammer you just had in your hand? I saw what you were trying to do. He was going to make the repair, but then he sh saw me show up, and then he didn't want to do it. Lazy. Alright, uh, we'll make repairs later. Alright, so we need to do a barn so we can create animal feed. And then we'll make a... Oh wait, actually I can't make a cow shed, can I? 
So that'll just be a future building that we'll make. Okay, so fold and cow shed are last. Oh yeah, we'll need to make a fold. I think we'll make that somewhere else. We'll make a fold in a different part so that way everything's not in one spot. Maybe we can actually make it over here. So the animals can go up there. Alright, so that's the end of our building for now, except for the barn. So we'll make the barn today. Uh, yeah, we do have a Twitter. I'll link the Twitter and all the Steam groups and stuff you can find us on. So make sure you follow outside of YouTube so you get those notifications and come say hi. If you don't have one, make one. It's free to do and we just chat about games there. So games, upcoming uh, fun stuff, all good stuff. Fun, positive, good stuff. Bum, 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 bum. Where's the little man at? Yeah, he's actually uh, four years old now, so I don't know. Can we assign him a job yet? Villager's too young to work still. I did. I don't know if you can like assign him to be a gatherer or something yet. I, I don't know. We'll see what the game makes. All right, one last thing then is the barn build. Bum, 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 bum. So in order to make that, we'll probably need 10 logs. Logs are always required to start a frame of a building. You'll always need to start with those, or at least most buildings. Can't wait till they have a tier two barn. Okay, where can we put the barn? We could put it up again. Eh. Oh, we could put the barn here. The nice thing about the barn is you can actually walk through it. So we could put the barn near the pathway. Oh, we could put the barn this way too. Well, let's save before we put it down. It's a little little tough to like put down some of these larger buildings because you can't see the edges. You know what'd be nice is if you if there was a mode where you could put down a blueprint mode where if you if you hit a button it would put it down, like, instead of it going down, it would be nice if you could put it as a blueprint and then look at the building from all the angles and then walk up to it and press E to accept. So it'd be nice that if you clicked, if it were green and you clicked, that you could take a look at the building to make sure everything was good before you then finalized your design. That'd be nice. And of course, the customizations of buildings and stuff. More customization. But there's a lot of options here. Like, I'm, I'm glad some of these buildings, these prefab buildings, some of them are nice because you don't really... Like, if you're building a cow shed, it, it's really not much more than just, like, a, a door with a roof over it, really. So it would be nice if there was some more custom design stuff to it. Oh, this is good. This is actually... That's actually really good. Oh, that's perfect. Beautiful. And it's off a little bit. I like that. Everything's kind of supposed to be a little, um... What would you call it? What, what's the word? Asymmetrical? I don't want it to be perfect. We're not building a uh, a mall or a suburban News neighborhood. Shout out. Oh, that is freaking beautiful. So for the amount of buildings that we just built, this is probably going to be another $1,000 in taxes. What do we owe now? Seven ninety. dollars uh, That's seven ninety a season times four. Chat, what's the math on that? Is that like, uh, boy, probably pretty close to uh, 30, not 30000 uh, 3,000. Wait. 14. It's 28. Oh, 6. That's close to 6. Oh, boy. Isn't that close to 6? If it's 790 times 2 is 14 plus, or times 2. Oh, yeah, about 28. So somewhere... Between like, uh, well, actually, no, the number is exact, isn't it? So wouldn't it be like 30, or yeah, 30, oh, 3160? Okay. Yeah, I was thinking it was going to be like 3,200. So I was right about that. Pretty close. Luckily, I don't think we have to pay taxes on fences, I think, so that's good. But that building there is going to increase the taxes one more time. 
at the end of the season, or all these buildings will. Mm, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if that tax is accurate yet. We'll see. I don't know if it's updated for the year. Okay. So now let's build the barn. So now we have a barn here for animal feed, and we can just store animal feed in here too. I kind of like that though. I have to build the building again just to get the extra stuff out of it. But then you can use it as storage, so it's not a bad thing. All right, let's grab a bunch of logs. Oh yeah, just look at it in terms of hammers. How many hammers will you be taxed? That's a good point. Yeah, it's about a... Uh, let's see. So what did I say again? 14 hammers gives us a thousand. So... Wait a minute. Yeah, we'd need to, we'd need to pay about a... Uh, at this point, I'd say we'd probably need to make 15 hammers a, a season in order to pay for our taxes. So long as we make 60 hammers a year, we're good. So that's what we should do, is have one of our blacksmiths just make hammers so we can pay our tax throughout the year. So, so it'll be our... So one blacksmith will essentially be like our taxation office. It'll deal with our taxes. And then the other one will actually make stuff. So one is just like a tax write-off. So essentially we have one mine, one blacksmith, and four employees dedicated to just paying the paying the taxes. Like, look, there we go, 59 hammers. So now for the rest of the year, we're, we're okay to make hammers for ourselves. Oh, wow. Uh, Mick X, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg. Thanks for clicking the tab of that join button. Is chat good for you guys? Let's do another uh, test on chat. Apparently YouTube chat was broken earlier. Can I get a, uh, a hi or a hey or a howdy or a hola or a hey hey or something from all of chat? I'm just curious to know if it's working. Oh, I should have brought thatch. Uh, let's finish the walls first. Yeah, give me a hello there, chat. I'm just curious. And welcome again to those new members. I should have gotten everybody taken care of today, by the way, for the giveaway. If I missed you or if anybody else hasn't messaged me, uh, absolute last call to make sure you've won the giveaway. Uh, so if you're listening to the sound of my voice now and you sent me a message and I didn't reply, please do send me another message. But I'm pretty sure I got everybody. Uh, hello from Stroopwafel and Windmill Land. Oh, Booster. Greetings. I've never been to Belgium, though. So hello to you. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay, let's uh, go to logs. Grab another... Now yeah, we'll do an eight stack plus... What do we need? Straw? No, that should be fine. Wait, 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 wait. I think we need more straw. Now you know what? I'll just pick it up from the water. We'll just pick it up from the seashore. It's been a while since I built a barn. There we go. So we need new subscriber shout out. So now we just need more. Oh, I need more logs. You know what? I have so much straw in there. Let's just let's just grab more straw. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Raptor, you get fifty extra fifteen hammers is one thousand fifty. What? I think I I can't remember, but fourteen hammers sell for. 1,000 from what I remember. Oh, wow. Oh, we have 738 flax. Man, I got to do more farming. Now, you guys were telling me, too, uh, that doing animal... Um, doing things for animals give you... Uh, what, what do you call it? Farming points when you're taking care of animals. So, like, if... A, if chickens are fed and they make an egg that counts as all sorts of farming duty so that should help us to unlock some of the end game farming stuff 14 hammers is 980 okay so it's pretty close it's pretty close more straw I thought I grabbed enough I will right, we'll grab 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10, 11, 12. That yeah, should be enough. Oh, it was uh, 16 that I needed, not 18. That's fine. All right, good. Another barn is complete. Beautiful. We can pretty much just leave the barn alone because you walk right through it. 
But I could put some more fences and stuff around it. No, it looks fine to me as an open building. Actually, no. I'm gonna put a little fence here. Let's do a little simple stick fence. Uh, we could build it out to here. Subscriber shout out. Hmm. Yeah, I'll build something here instead. I'll just make a little thing near the water. Might end up putting a fishing dock over here, too. Be kind of cool. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wait, I need more sticks. What? The stick fence requires sticks? Who would have ever printed... Too many stick? Too many fences? Really? Well, I mean, in this area, everything kind of needs a fence because we're fencing in animals. I certainly don't want the chickens to get mixed in with the cows because I won't be able to tell them apart then if they... Wow. If they mingle with each other. But yeah, this one's for the geese. And this one's for the chickens. And this one's for the uh, the pigs. And this was just for fancy points. Ah, I think it looks good. Damn, this is just like me playing Austri, but in first person. And then we have this little area open here so we can go get straw if we need to and do repairs this way. You think the fishing dock would look nice on the animal side of the river? We could put it, like, right uh, here somewhere. I could always remove the fences. They're not a big deal. Oh yeah, no, there's domesticated animals in this game. You can get chickens, geese, uh, let's actually look at the farm tab. Chickens, geese, pigsty, uh, you can get sheep and goats and then cows. And I'm hoping for the ability to domesticate an, a, a dog so that way you could go hunting. That'd be really cool if you could get a hunting dog that would like give you a bonus in finding animals or something. Something to, to get them more. New subscriber shout out. All right, that looks beautiful. Unfortunately, we can't build anything else at the moment until we unlock it. So now we can try to experiment with getting animals in here. We'll start with chickens and see how that goes. We could also build our fishing dock, but I want to wait till fishing dock 2 is unlocked. Which we're very close to. Uh, so I don't want to build one and then demolish it. I want to build a higher quality one. We may pay more taxes on it, but at this point, money's not even a uh, concern. We're at 447 out of 5,000. We just need to do uh, killing animals, trapping, or fishing with a net and spear. Oh. We'll need to go hunting, I guess, again. New That's member, not too hard. Welcome. If we need to go hunting again, we will do... Uh, Justin, thanks for becoming a raptor egg, or whatever may have happened. I don't see you on the list, but thank you for your support. YouTube's being weird, so sorry if I miss you. Yeah, I know. We like our city is massive now. Like these other villages, be well, because they can terraform and stuff, they are able to build their buildings really close. But here, yeah, look, we're at, we're both. <laughs> our village like starts here and it goes to this side of the river, then up into the mountains, then to the other side of the river. It's crazy. We'd probably be able to feed everybody in town. Or maybe we could build two fishing docks. I don't know. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go on an adventure. Let's go buy some chickens. So, chat. What's the best thing to do for chickens? Like, should I go? Do I buy chicklings or should I buy? Uh, do I do I buy like two adult chickens or do I buy ten? Like, what's the best way? How many can I also hold? Like, wait a minute. Under management. Let's see. Hmm. Buy two chickens and two chicks? Okay. Oh, bre bread them and then fry them. Oh, okay. No, I meant for keep for phase one before phase two, the delicious part. Buy one rooster and nine hens? Uh, can you buy roosters? Cook them with rice. Oh, that sounds really good. 
All right, chat's got... All right, you guys are too big brain. Too big brain. Hmm. Hmm. Spicy chicken nuggets from McDonald's. All right, can we get a, a like in chat if you uh, like chicken, by the way? Can we get some love for chicken? Let's do a Pinto Bless and get some likes for chicken. Dear chicken, thanks for being supple, delicious, juicy, and being probably one of the most uh, versatile foods on the planet. Anything from uh, chicken stir-fry to fried chicken to chicken Caesar salads. Uh, anything from breasts to thighs to even the nugget of the chicken, wherever that may come from. Thank you for always giving us tastiness and goodness and being good either uh, dry or moist. Chicken, you uh, you really know how to please. Thank you, chicken. Okay, uh, let's see. Where are the chickens here, by the way? Does this town have chickens? I know there's geese here. So how would this work? These are all adults. Damn, they're expensive. Wow. Wait, do I have to put these things in there? Huh. Those must be the boneless strips. Actually, I don't think there's a... Up near the cow shed? Oh, is there is there chickens in this map? These are geese. I want chickens, though. I like how they built their little, uh, their little goose shed, too. All right. Uh, oh my goodness, the, the radiation was worse than I thought. It made Cer Cerber, Cerber moose. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Jamie, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Thanks for clicking and tapping that join button. Oh, it's at the town across the river? Okay. We'll go over there then. So we know there's cows and geese here. I know there's goats in... One of these two towns has goats. Or sheep, I mean. Actually, I don't think... I don't remember seeing goats. Maybe I did. I must have. I know I've seen sheep. I, I can remember everything but the goats. But I must have seen goats, too. I've been to, like, everything in the map, so I must have seen them at some point. Alright, we'll go to the other town. Also, on our way there, let's sell some hammers, too. And get our money back. Oh, there's pigs in that town? Oh, at Bororo? Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. So that town likes geese and beef. That's fine. Okay, let's sell these things. Let's bring a fat stack of 30. Alright, this will be a little bit of a walk, but we're fine. Goats and sheep are in the same pen. Yeah, that's true. They can be stored in the same one. Oh, Denica has all the animals? Oh, all things bovine. Okay. Bovine. Hmm. That must be chicken. Bum, bum. All right, well, we're going to Berber first. Whatever. Oh, good. They finished all the farming. Good. Oh, damn. I should have told them to change crops. Maybe they can grow one more thing in this. I wish they'd give me more details in this screen. What's another crop I can grow in the summer? Or plant, I should say. Oh yeah, cabbage. Okay. Oh, hell no. I don't need cabbage. Can we grow wheat or anything? Can I grow any of the, the cereal grains? Can I do wheat, rye, or... No, well, we've already done flax. Can I do oats, wheat, or rye? Only cabbage? Pizza. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, chat. No, we've already grown flax. I wish it would tell you the details here when you're in the screen. 
We could grow wheat for the next year, though. I could set it up now and just leave it. Only cabbage? Damn. I don't. I really don't need any more cabbage, to be honest. Okay, well, we'll just take the year off, then. We'll grow, uh... We'll probably do flax again next year, then. So that way we can keep on uh, using that leather to make clothing when we unlock it. Bum, 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 25 hours to squadrons. Wait, it, re it releases 9 p.m. tomorrow night? Uh, let's see, I need food. Yeah, we can buy an apple or something at the town. Food and water are not difficult to come by. We'll just take a nice little walk. It might be beetroot. Oh yeah, beets don't give you any... F I guess, what's the purpose of beetroots in this game? Like, all you can do is... Uh... Oh, beetroot. Oh yeah, there is something you can make with beetroot, yeah. Yeah, and the cauldron. I don't need any more food, though. At this point, I think the only thing I want to make is, like, wheat, so that way we can give the cattle food. So we'll just switch oh, flax. Oh, you're looking to join. Excellent. Click or tap the join button next to the subscribe button now. By the way, can it can it only be wheat, or can you feed them rye, or, um... Can you feed them rye, or the other thing? Um, uh, what is it? Uh, rye or oats? Is it only wheat for cattle, f uh, any sort of animal feed? I guess the game just gives it the generic name. Only wheat? Okay. All right, let's trade. Let's see who wants to buy our goodies, and then we'll grab some grab some snacks. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Hi there, Ida. Oh, she's selling eggs. Nice. Let's see. Who else sells food? Nobody. That's right. It's, uh... Summer, so we'll grab some berries here. Bum, bum. All right, Chad, get ready to lower your volume. It's going to get pretty loud. Here we go. Yes, only the pigs produce manure. That's why we got them. Okay, let's see. Where are those chickens? I hope we can find them. They're probably going to be really hard to find. And if we can't... Oh, they're there. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, move around. I want to see how many there are. Move! So how does it work with chickens? Do I need... How, how many chickens do I need? Like, can I just buy two and then they'll make babies? Or how does it work? Or do I need... Can I buy eggs? Actually, maybe it explains in the tutorial. It's been a while since I had to look that up. Uh... Where's the game's tutorial? Chicken 
Just buy two chickens? Do they make more? Where's the... Wait, where's the tutorial page on how to do this stuff? Under journal? Oh, this thing, yeah. Animal management. Uh, let's see. Information about your animals? No. Uh... Animal husbandry. Uh, you can breed different animals, chickens, geese, pigs, goats, sheep, and cows. They require special buildings, and they can be bought from various breeders living in villages scattered across the map. Animals require feeding, which is done by pound, uh, pouring animal feed from the bag into the troughs. Animal feed can be crafted in the barn or just bought from vendors. Okay. Well, let's buy two. We can, oh, we got to get somebody work in there first. Uh, let's see. Hmm. All right, wifey, you're going to be working on the old uh, chickens now. Perfect. Nice. And then we're going to just buy two chickens. All right. Jake Reno, watching while at work, currently operating a manipulator in a steel forge. Been a fan for years. Love the game. Hey, thanks, Jake, for the five, ma'am. Have a good day today, and thanks for sticking with us. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. Oh. There we go. How's the kid? Fine, I assume. I, I don't know. He doesn't say much. Ah, good. Chicken. Did I buy one or? Oh, I must have bought one. They're all leaving now. Oh, so we actually have to, we actually have to buy a chicken as if we're like assigning it. Oh, okay. Let's buy a few then. Okay, I think that worked. Yeah, you're the cabbage. That it seems to never end. Okay, who has animal feed for sale? Joel, thanks for uh, becoming a raptor egg. I know the dude in the um, in the cow shed across the way has animal feed. Hopefully the chickens don't eat a lot. Yeah, it'd be hilarious if the chickens just kind of went in a line. You just show up and you're like, Alright, listen up, chickens. I'm the new boss around here. Single file to the new base. And the chickens just kind of like troops just march in a single file line. New member, welcome. Joel, thanks for becoming a member again. It's good to have you back. He's a red eye too, a long time member. It's always nice to see members come back when they uh, have the time to support again. That's really nice. That's beautiful. How's my day? Good. I'm really enjoying this. Now, where are the chickens? Yeah. Cool. All right, I'll bring back some food soon. Ah, so you put food in the bag. Hey, 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 security breach. Sir? Excuse me. No, this is for pigs. Sir. This is the pig area. Okay. Sir? Wow, they could just go wherever the hell they want. All right. Well, literally fast food. Okay, let's grab ourselves a... Uh, I guess we'll go buy some animal feed now. Yep, I can see your guys' chat. Yeah, it was broken earlier, so if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and uh, say hi to make sure that uh, it's working for you, I guess. Let her be. She has business to attend to. Yeah, she's... Well, she's going to be the fastest of fast food. And, uh... What is that? Drable? 
Drable Odos. Thanks for becoming a, lo a little raptor. Bomb bomb. Big O upgrade. Million dollar upgrade. Woo. Thank you. Um, okay, animal feed, and then we're done for today. Wow, it is amazing how long it takes to do anything in this game, but it's not bad. It's very realistic for the time. Man, I really want to be able to lay things... Like, look at this. They put wagon wheels and pieces of wood. It's just so detailed. Sir, I need to speak with you. No, don't don't go into that thing. It's dangerous. Three-headed cow, get away. He only has ten. Well, we can buy ten a day, I guess. Forty-eight. What a scam. Hopefully this feeds the... Uh... You know what, sir? Just because of that, how about you buy some hammers? Yeah. Cool. Bum 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 bum. Thanks for putting out great content on the regular. Well, you guys make it easy. It's fun to be here. I always have a good time here. Streams are awesome because we don't really have to do much other than just kind of hang out and just play the game and just be real chill. Bum, 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 bum. We're going to go back and drop off the feed bag. Hopefully those chickens don't die. Actually, can you see management-wise? Chicken. You can't see, like, if they're starving or anything. Oh, well. Bom, bom. Bom. A feed bag. There, there's a bag that's at each one of the animal buildings, and you have to fill it with feed. Bom, 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 bom. Bum, 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 bum. Well, luckily we'll just start with a few animals. We'll start with just the chickens this year until we have more food. Because I have a problem. Animal feed's going to be the biggest problem. The longest stuff is in the bag, I assume. We're... Go, baby. Go. Oh! What the hell? Did you just dive into the bag? Where the heck? Where'd the chicken go? He just like did a head first dive into the bag. Wow, somebody was hungry. Alright then. Yeah, foxes will become a bigger problem. Um, well, they don't migrate. They don't really leave. I don't even think... I bet you if you built a chicken coop literally where the foxes are, I don't think the foxes would care. At least not yet. Okay, let's try a little bit of pottage. Oh, looks like this guy's cooking. Nice. Okay, so now we've got everything done for building what we can right now. So the remaining stuff is just to let the year pass by so we can keep, keep getting more farming points. I should have just told them to do farming so we could have at least gained some experience. All right, let's set it up for next year then. So you boys said we need to have wheat for the next year? So four by four wheat. I think we'll just keep, yeah, we'll do everything with wheat. Boom, boom, boom. Then what we can try to do is make a, a food-only field in the future for animal feed. I wonder if harvesting with the sickle is faster than when they harvest with the uh, with the cabbage because they have to actually bend down and pull it out. Same with the carrots. Okay, that looks good. 
Alright, let's see. Yeah, we got plenty of flax now. In fact, speaking of that, we can go work on that for a while. Well, let's see. 105 cabbage. That's insane. Looks like they did transport all that stuff, though, back to the... Back to the barn. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Name the chickens pot. Oh, I think he meant to say pot and pie. Yes, chicken pot pie. Let's see. So fla oh wow, 736 flax? You've got to be kidding me. We're going to have to spend a whole day just doing threshing because I don't even think we have somebody assigned to the barn, do we? Field worker. Everybody's a field worker. I don't know if I have an extra hand. We better finish that house. What we're probably going to want to do is finish the house then. So that way we can uh, get two more workers. And I could probably put them on the mine or something like that. What's up, Gordon? How you doing? What's up, Liam? Good to see you here, too. Oh boy, this is gonna this is gonna be interesting. All right, let's do 50, and then I'll have to see if we can build a house and get more workers. Now, we'll do 50. 50 lashings. Bum bum bum. Yeah, the chat's been kind of broken, so you can test it by just saying hi. YouTube's had some weirdness today, but it's been okay for me. I've seen everybody's chat. Luckily, we get a plenty of seeds for this. Halfway there, living on a prayer. Hmm. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. All right, good. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll probably. Oh, ooh, that was worth it. Wait a minute, if that unlocked the sewing building. Wait, sewing three. Oh, that was under crafting. Oh, oh, good. Now I can make all the fancy, fancy clothes. Hell yeah! And that's exactly what the flax will be used to make as well. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, they, you're right, uh, squashes. They they sped up uh, threshing about like a couple of seconds. It used to take way too long. Um, let's do this. We'll drop off the flax seed. And I'll take the rest with me. And I think we'll just do more tomorrow. Yeah, you know, I'm going to do all this myself, and then we'll we'll build the house and do a bunch of workers. So the next goal is if we get two more workers, we can put somebody in the barn here to work on threshing. Are barn inventories linked too, or are they considered to be separate buildings? We'll have to make sure we put one person in the correct barn. They must not be linked because I bet they're like workshops. Well, they're kind of technically storage buildings, but no, they're, they're more workshops because you can process grain. So... We'll put one person in the barn, and we'll take the other person and probably have them on the farm, too, so we can farm even faster. And then we'll try to get two more people and start putting them to work in the pigsty and whatever else. But first, got to make sure we got a lot of animal feeds stored up for the rest of the year. Let's go do th some threshing. Oh, it's also the first day of autumn. How's the boy? Four. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, we'll be making some fancy clothes pretty pretty soon. I don't think you can choose... I don't think you can choose your... Um, your people's clothes. I think you can only clothe yourself. You don't need animal feed at the moment? Well, how else am I going to feed the pigs and the... 
I mean, I at least need to have one in there, don't I? Well, regardless, I think we better at least produce animal feed so that way we don't have to buy it. So let's do a little whipping for a while. Let's see how long this takes. I'll do this till we get bored. I, okay, here's what we're going to do. If you want me to build the house, chat's got to get her up to 700 likes. If everybody watching sma takes one second to smash like once, we can go build a house. Otherwise, you're all voting to see flax grain be whipped by a stick. Is that really what you find exciting? You'll have to let me know. Remember, kids, vote. Not voting is a vote for evil. And I, for one, love evil. Knievel. Bum, 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 bum. This YouTuber is out of control. Unliked and dissubbed. No way. Chat loves threshing too much. That's why everybody bought the game. It wasn't to build houses or to fire crossbows and kill bears. It was to do some th some threshing. That's what it was for. Bum 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 ba dum bum bum. Yeah, we're doing some whipping with that stick. Whipping. Uh, I think the kid has to be five until you can like tell them to do stuff. I think they can do basic jobs, but I I don't know how it works. We'll see, though. Chat's told me a few times, but I, I'm not sure until I've done it once. Yeah, a proper mill would be cool in this game. I don't know if they had those in medieval times, but... Uh, well, they must have. It would be cool if you could build a water wheel. That would be cool. Because there are rivers all over this game, so it'd be cool if they had a current. Yeah, we're whipping it good. This is how YouTube treat, treats YouTubers. More content, more, more, stream, more. Dang it. Bum, 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 bum. Getting a whooping. Now, to be fair, this is how some of us treat the ketchup bottle. You got to get every little drop of that ketchup out of there. And especially if you have Sweet Baby Ray's, uh, sweet, uh, the barbecue sauce, really good, good stuff. Oh, a donkey mill. That'd be kind of cool, but I, I think they could do better. I think they could probably do a windmill at least. A windmill would be really cool, but I'd like to see a water wheel just to be able to build something with water power. And it'd be really interesting if we could have certain buildings like a sawmill or something that could refine logs into beams. Certain things probably would require beams, so we'll see how that all goes. All right, we'll stop to build a house if chat gets to 700 likes or if we get to 250, whichever one comes first. Chat will never be able... Impossible. That chat will be able to beat me at graining, uh, flaxing and graining. Or whatever this job's called. Th thraining. Thraining, the flaxing and the graining. Matt Graining. Simpsons. Bum, bum. No possible way. They're lucky I was nice. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 How bum, bum. dare you speak to me that way, YouTuber? Hurt feeling police are on the way. It's just how it is, Billy. Just how it is. Just out of curiosity, how old are you? Like 25? Mentally, 9? Yeah, Ch even chat was trying to cheer on chat, but I knew it. It's just too much in these modern days to... Tap that thumb onto that like button. Not, nothing I could do. I tried to help you, Chad, but... All right. Whoa. Now we're moving extra slow. Woo. -hoo. Okay, so what do we got here? Flaxseed 250. Wow. That's crazy. Black stock is at 300. All right, I guess we'll go over to the wheel. Of Destiny. You know what I wonder? Does um does sewing three does it have a better spinning wheel that makes it faster or anything? All right, we're gonna make thirty thread. This doesn't take too long. Oh look, you can see the boots with the fur. 
Bom, bom, bom. Uh, you can get a recurve bow from the city of Lesnica. So we're going to make 30 of these, then we'll go finish the house, and then we'll go see if we can get uh, a rec another recruit. We'll see if we can get another recruit. Bum, 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 bum. Yes, the whole club was looking at her. Indeed. Linen thread's good for making your own bows. You can... Making linen cloth kind of sucks to make clothing. It's really only just for yourself. It's not really good to sell it or anything. So if you're going to do... If you're going to do anything with linen, just make bows. Way more profitable. And it's not even that profitable either. Bows, you'd, you'd imagine a bow would sell for a bit, but no. No. New subscriber shout out. Caleb the Great, thanks for subbing, dude. Welcome aboard. Okay. Oh, this building's... Eh, that's alright. We'll let this building get more damaged. We're going to rebuild it anyway. So now we might be able to make clothing here, though. Hmm. Oh, we'd have to build it in building three, though, wouldn't we? Or do we? Oh, I guess we wouldn't have to rebuild the... Yeah, I'd rather rebuild it. Actually make a decent building. But let's do that later. Let's actually try to pimp ourselves out. Let's try to make something nice. What do we want to make? Let's see. What do we want to wear today? I like the idea of having a hood. Hmm. Wilted vest or felt. Hat with lapels, noble shoes, noble boots. Oh, do we want everything to say noble? Well, the only thing we can get is noble shoes or boots. Unless Tunic. Eh. Oh, some of this is probably going to require wool, isn't it? Well, the linen is probably for the summer. Uh, too bad it doesn't tell you what it, what it needs. So now and then get some XP. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I really don't like how this game doesn't tell you the recipes for certain things. Let's save here. I'll unlock a few things and then figure out what they require to make and then probably reload. Because I can't tell what a quilted... I don't know if a quilted tunic requires wool or if it requires... Like, what do we need? Denim? Okay. Uh, let's... Wait, what is that? Oh, we got that already. Yeah, seems like a good idea. Let's go for... What is it? Crafting. Sewing three. Let's do noble boots. Also, it feels like I, I would just rather wear the winter boots all the time. It seem more quality. Boots with defer? Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. You can see the... Uh, you can see the recipe here. 36 leather? Holy crap. Or 36 fur. Well, I guess, like, the noble boots you'd want to wear in the summer, the fur boots in the winter, because you don't want to get too hot sometimes. Ooh, fancy shoes. But these are noble boots, so they must be... Yeah, I'd rather wear boots. All right, let's go grab some leather. Yeah, we're, we're turning out medieval uh, bootleg, medieval Uggs.
That's how we're going to turn a profit to. Times are tough. Pottage ain't selling the way it used to. Gonna have to get dirty now. Yeah, that's right. You need to load out. Uh, essentially, in the future, it looks like down here there's a your temperature gauge. Right now, we feel like we're at 19C. So I'm assuming later in the game, they're probably going to make that more important where... I mean, eventually, you're probably going to have to clothe your people for winter and for summer. And people are going to need clothes year-round to repair ones, uh, replace or repair ones that have, that have been uh, oofed. Too bad there's not a mirror that we can look at. Okay, let's see. Now we got noble boots. Update that swag. Eh, not for me, but they were probably cool at the time. So that's fine. As long as they say noble, they must have some sort of bonus. Okay, what else do we want? Let's replace our hat. What should we get for a hat? Chat, we need a hat. What are we getting? Yeah, we're big pimping now. Bag hat, long hood. Felt hat. Ooh, that sounds cool. Oh, this one says woolen hat. Or felt. What the hell's felt made out of? Oh, that's made with wool. That seems like a winter thing. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I think the one we have now is probably fine. There's really not a lot of nice options for hats. What about the, uh... Doing the James Brown dance with our shoes, yeah. Um, wilted vest seems like a winter thing. Same with felt. Right now, I think we're wearing a simple tunic. Everything's made out of wool, for real. That tunic actually looks nice. I think this one's probably best for winter. This is probably good for the fall. Well, we are going into winter, though. Okay, I don't know what I have for wool. I think we bought some, but I didn't... Hmm, too bad there's not a lot of options making things out of fur. Everything seems to be all about wool. Like we got 16 million fur, but no wool. And the, uh, yeah. The thing that sucks is that you can only make, uh... You can only, like, buy ten at a time, so you'd have to go back multiple times if you can't... Hmm. Oh, we have to unlock wool fabric? All right. Let's see. Oh. Well, we needed that anyway. Wool fabric. Wool thread. Ah, there it is. Wool fabric. Good. Good. Ah, we can make 11. Alright, so now we got 20, so that's good. Uh, felt is made by rolling and pressing wool or another suitable textile accompanied by application of moisture or heat causes the fibers to mat together to create a smooth surface. Oh. Okay, so that's what felt is. Interesting. I felt like that was the right answer. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Okay. New subscriber shout out. Mama E, thanks for subbing. Appreciate that. Welcome aboard. If you guys haven't smashed that like button, make sure you do. If you haven't subbed like Mama E, make sure you do. If you guys haven't become members yet, you can click or tap join to enter into a giveaway that we'll be having again sometime soon. I got to get some more. Actually, wait, no, I have more keys. So we'll have to uh, do a giveaway. I think uh, 
maybe tomorrow we'll do a we'll do a double giveaway tomorrow because I got to figure out how many keys I got. So if we have, I think I at least have two. So maybe we'll do like a big old triple giveaway. Triple giveaway. That'll be cool. Okay, so now what do we want to do? Shirts. Oh, okay, shirts are for the summer. Wait, what? What the hell? Head, torso, hands, and pants. Okay. So really, I think we want to make a. Tu okay, so tunics are like for winter then. Well, let's make that pimp and quilted vest then. We had to become Lord Big Pimpin'. So let's do. Wait, quilted vest is fifteen hundred, so it must be better. What's up, Steven? Everything's going good. We're making ourselves uh, some clothing. Subscriber shout out. Bum ba bum 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 ba bum. Bum 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 ba bum bum. What's up, bearded chair? How you doing? Okay. Now we have new clothes for that. So let's put on the uh, quilted vest. Oh no. Now we look like, uh, oh no, I'm becoming what I hate. Oh, we're becoming Unagost. No. No, what have I become? This is like Star Wars. He wears this gross green crap. No. We've become Unagost. No. <laughs> no. Uh. Pants with wraps. Well, I won't have enough to make all that stuff. Okay, so the hat is fine. So we need we need different pants though. I only have one wool remaining. I gotta go buy more. What should we make though for pants? I actually think that hat's kind of dope for winter, but eh. All right, so we'll switch to our fur boots when winter comes. I think we'll just have to make the joined ones. The ones on the far right always seem to require the more, most material. So we'll get that one. Hood just kind of seems like you wear a hood on like a super cold winter day. Like what we're wearing now is perfect for autumn. And then we'll change our pants and our hat in the winter to like a, a hood. We'll just need to go get more materials. So where do we get wool from? Does uh, Barnica have... Wait, how much money do we have? Oh, I better go get some cash. Oh, you can wear a hood and a hat together? Okay. Well, then let's go buy some more wool, because that's the only thing I don't have. So I need to stop at every town that has wool. Ornica and Denica. Okay. Wait, I need hammers. 41. Holy crap. Those ladies are making a ton. Okay, let's put our stuff back in storage. Thirteen. Yeah, that should be more than enough. We can carry 24s. Uh, people are saying Branica. What town is it? I'm getting conflicting answers. I don't know if Hornica has sheep. I can't remember. I know I know Branica does. I might need to go to two close towns, though. Actually, I think, uh, yeah, Denica has it, because they have a weaver at Denica. Okay, we'll go to these two first, and then Denica I know for sure has it. So, all right, we'll 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 go to a couple places today. 
I'm just going to buy the fabric we need until we can get the sheep. Because we still have to unlock the fold. I've never seen anybody actually selling the clothing. It just seems like they sell the fabric. So no matter what you need your... Uh, no matter what you do, you're going to need to bring... Uh, or build yourself a uh, sewing station. There we go. Abrasive has become a little raptor. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Wow. Thank you very much for your support. Cool. <laughs> Which town sells abacuses? Oh, there is somebody in uh, Branico who sells clothes? Okay. Let's see. We'll set course for the new town. <laughs> now, they haven't made third person for it, but it would be nice if they did implement a third person viewing mode, so that way you could have uh, a, li a little look at yourself, you know? Uh, I haven't stolen in this game. I've been pretty pretty honorable. The only thing I've cheated is the game a little bit because it's again it's an alpha. So I've done things like get a little bit of honor points. But this is kind of where I wanted to be in the game is where it's like you can do anything you want in the game. You just got to like you got to build it, you know. Like you can build a barn, but you got to cut down all the trees, but I think it's a little silly after you get a after you get like 10 people in your city, you should be able to do whatever you want. Like, technically, I can't build a, a fold right now for sheep, but I can have, like, chickens, geese, and pigs. Like, mm -hmm. A mirror would be better. I don't think mirrors existed yet. I think, um... The Venetians, I think, invented the mirror. And it had something to do with, uh... Uh, using mercury, I think. Was, m making mirrors was expensive and extremely dangerous. Same with making hats. That's why they had the saying of a mad hatter, because they used to use like things like lye and other poisonous chemicals and mix it in a small shack and breathe it in all day. So people would go, they'd have brain damage and stuff. Oh, the bronze mirror. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about that. Reflective surfaces, yeah. That's a whole different thing. But imagine, like, well, they'd have to put bronze in the game, though. But it would be cool if you could buy stuff from, like, far-off lands that you couldn't... It'd be cool if you could buy stuff that you couldn't get in the game anywhere else. Like, it'd have to be imported from a long, long distance away. Wow, look at all the people here. Nice. Alright, so this is what the hat is that we can make. This thing. That hat looks pretty good. I, I wouldn't mind wearing that in the winter. That'd be fine. Ah, good. Too bad this guy doesn't sell the fabric, though. But there was another lady you guys said did? Wait, that's the only guy who's selling stuff. Matilda and Denica and Carolina and Hornica. Well, we're up here at uh, Baranica, but we can go to Bronica. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Colton, could you stop spamming the same thing repeatedly in chat? You copying and pasting isn't going to fix whatever you're having a problem with. Yeah, glass making would be kind of cool. I'm going to go to this other village because I swear this, this village had uh, sheep as well. Now we're going to clear out everybody of wool since it's going to be a long time till we get sheep. Uh oh, itch. Okay, we're good. Okay, that was that was a close one. Could have been Could have been casualties in that one. 
Uh, there's five mines in the game. I think we, if you join our Discord, somebody linked the map. So everybody watching now, join our Discord with the links down below. And come say hi in the general chat. There's a lot of people who know a lot, a lot about this game. Our community knows pretty much everything. Yeah, they don't have... You can't make armor yet, but bandits are coming to the game, so I wouldn't be surprised if there was some sort of uh, combat weaponry that you could make later, like crossbows we can make now, so... Ah, perfect. Hello, lady. Hello, lady. Show me wares. Oh, damn, you're only a linen tailor? Ew. Ew. Oh, she does have a... Oh, I don't want simple linen shirt, though. Regular pants? Don't you people have sheep, sir? Where can I get sheep? Don't you walk away from me. Okay. Damn, I thought this... I thought one of these villages had sheep. This is it? This is all you people do? Wait, it's just one house. Basically a logging camp. Now they never have anything in there. Hmm, I could never steal because nobody ever has anything anyway. Yeah, I think the probably the the best villages in the game are probably like Hornica, uh, Gostovia, and then probably like Denica or Rolnica. Hmm. So that. That's all that lady sells, huh? Well, we certainly don't need any of that anymore. And we got plenty of linen, so we can make our own stuff. Okay, let's go to Denica. Wait, which way is Denica? Southeast. Yeah, I swear one of those towns had a... I swear one of them had, like, a bigger sheep farm. I talked to one of the guys, but he was the only one there. So we at least have ten wool, so that's good. But the good deal is to do... Um, the wool and then the wool thread, because then you can turn that into actual, like, wool fabric. You just lost 20 Dynasty rep looking... You, you lose rep looking into stuff? Do you? Wait, how do you even tell? Oh. Well, they don't have anything. I didn't take anything. Oh, if you get caught? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. I've, I've done all the quests. If there's nothing in there... Oh, is that, is that why there was nothing in there? Because I got caught? Oh, I didn't even know how stealing worked in this game. That's dumb. It should only count as stealing if you've actually stolen something. I mean, you certainly don't want somebody looking through your stuff, but also, I didn't steal, so... You know? Oh, you lose rep by looking in boxes that are not yours. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. I technically haven't stolen anything, so that's fine. I think there's wolves around here. We better be careful. Tell it to the judge? <laughs> well, that's true. That's right. I, I already did business with those folks anyway long ago. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's a boar. Okay. This lake here would be a nice play. Eh, it's a little close to the road. Never mind. I also wish we could build, make signs and stuff in our village. That'd be cool. But what I really want is the ability to make these little bridges. 
If I could make a bridge myself, that would be awesome. Oh, I took the long way to Hornica. Yeah, benches. I want to be able to make those too. All right, well, note to self. I'm not going to be looking in, uh, in uh, boxes anymore. But luckily we don't need the rep. We got like, over 10,000, so I guess it doesn't matter. What do I wish castles would do? I think we need a lot more buildings before we get there. I'd like to see like a quarry. Like we'd, we'd need ways to get big amounts of materials then. So we need a quarry. Uh, I'd want to see a like an actual tannery that you could use. I want to see ways to trade like marketplaces. Building a castle would be cool, but it would be like there'd be nothing you could put in it. So it'd be cool if you could make a banner and do dying. Oh, there we go. Good. Okay, let's head home. So now we should at least have like 30 wool, I believe. Like we can make up to 30. You can steal logs to stack next to the buildings. Nice. Well, I certainly don't need those. I guess that's a good idea if you need to make an axe or something really quick. Oh no, because you need sticks for that. Well, you can make a wooden hammer. Some quests literally are just like some annoying kid. Oh! And it's like, hey, mister, can I have a hammer? And you're like, okay, kid. Wow, thanks. Well, there are mentions in this game of uh, a night watch. Like, they're, they talk about, like, an impending invasion or, like, bandits or something. So there's definitely going to be uh, more weaponry and, and security in the game. Like, they, they already do allow you to build fences, and the story's kind of hinting at that there's going to be some trouble. So that's definitely a thing. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, let's do... Okay, so we have wool thread, so we should be able to weave that. Wait, we have wool... Wool fabric and wool thread. Oh, perfect. All right, so we can make a lot more than I thought. All right, let's get pimped. Let's go look fancy. Come on, wifey. There we go. Well, I mean, it would be cool in this game if you could play as a bandit. That would be cool. It'd also be cool if everybody watching right now smashed that subscribe button if they weren't subbed. Just as a reminder. Don't forget, if you're enjoying this, to become a subscriber. Welcome aboard. All right, let's do some spinning. No, 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 don't make one. Make ten. Oh, he can only make one out of ten. Oh. Well, that was fast. Can I get a shout out? Be sure to click or tap subscribe or become a member today. Now we can make 11. So I guess we'll get 21. Which I think we needed 24. Yeah, Marketplace would be a great way to make a ton of money. If you could put a bunch of stuff for sale there. I think the biggest thing to sell would be like... I mean, in the future, it'll be like pottery, honey, candles. Um, those would be huge. It is super nice so that we can make hammers and blacksmith stuff. Apparently, the most profitable thing at the moment is arrows because you can make like uh, 50 for 10... Really, the only thing that you need in this game is iron. The sticks are basically free. Oh, yeah! We've unlocked food storage, too, finally. So we're down to... We just need the tavern. Oh. Doing what we just did actually counted as farming as well. Okay. Hey, thanks, Matthew Thomas. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Wait, we already made a tunic. Let's make joined hose. 
We need 12 linen fabric, though. We only have one. Let's make some stuff out of that now. Oh boy, it's going to take a minute. That's all right, though. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, the uh, name of our son is technically Michael because somebody upgraded to a Raptor Ultimate. That was pretty awesome. But the game says something else, but that's fine. We always refer to him as Michael. Bum, 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 bum. Wow, this takes a while. Everything in this game takes a while. It's nice that they put a lot of effort in the animations. Like it's 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 nice that you actually see the character doing something other than just kind of moving his hands around. Like some games like I think oh my with, god, mom made pizza rolls! Yeah, I was about to say, when he makes food, like pizza rolls, when he's making pizza rolls, he, the hand's just kind of like, he puts in two ingredients and then just, it's kind of boring. This one's actually good. The blacksmith could be better too. But again, if this is where we're starting from, this is not, not bad at all. Man. I really have high hopes for this game. It's so cool. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Uh, move into the bigger house. We could, but it's that's. I guess if I go to have another son, we could do that. I'll do it when the other when the boy is five. We'll have another kid. We'll have them five year five years apart. So that way, I can focus on one at a time. Kids are a little less competitive when they're five years apart. And then they get a little closer, older in age. Because there's a pretty big difference between a 15 and a 20 year old, and a pretty big difference between a 20 and a 25 year old. But once you get 25, 25 and 30, they start to, their priorities start to link up a little bit more. Okay. Let's see. So now we just need to unlock those. Let's go to tech. Is it sewing two? Or three? Ah. Good. Good, very good. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Want to go to work for you tomorrow, and then I'll and you'll just stream. Do you uh, sew in a midi? I I I, I don't know. I kind of like sewing medieval stuff right now. Um, a medieval bro. Uh, I just basically become Unagas, dude. Well. Okay, well that's cool. So we have some kind of we have some pretty good pants, pretty good boots, pretty good gloves. The only thing we need is maybe a new hat. I don't know if I want to make a a long hood? Wait. Oh, yeah, I actually used to have a... Or do I have one of these? I know I gave one away, but then I think I got another one in a quest. Let me see if I have one of these. Do we have population limits anymore? I don't know. We have like 10,000 reputation. I lost a little bit, though. So, may... Uh, where, how many people are we at, though? Ooh, we have 17 people? Wow. I don't know. Hmm. 
could have sworn that I got another hood somewhere. I know I gave one away for a quest, but I thought I got one. Oh, we're looking pretty fly. I think these will be our boots when we go to uh, do some dealing. Oh, our other boots are pretty good for work. Yeah, the fur boots. Okay, well, we're not wearing those anymore. We'll put these on for now. Noble boots are when we go to a, have a party. I think, oh, wow, we're actually in our socks right now. Oh, yeah, those look nice. Oh, that's way more pimping than those noble boots. And then again, this is more winter attire. This is more for, uh... More for, like, fall and winter. The only thing we need now is, then, is, uh... Oh, just need a hood. Which I think we can actually... I must have one somewhere. I know I had a hood somewhere. Alright, wool fabric, linen fabric... I don't think it was a yeah, I think it I think it was a actual nice like yeah, long fur hood. That actually seems nicer than just the long hood. So we definitely have the fur, but not the wool. So we'll have to go and do another purchase, but we'll just consider that one in the bag. All right, let's go build a house. Let's end our day today by building a big O house. There we go. Bum, bum. Cle I thought you were going to take a break. Yeah, well, you know. I like it too much, honestly. I will eventually run out of stuff to do, though. Once I've built all the buildings, I don't know what else there is to do for me. But the good news is, we still got a long way to go. Until we unlock all the buildings. But one thing I did learn, at least, is that the spinning wheel counts as farming. So the good news about that is that any time that I go to uh, make fabric now, I think uh, threshing, I think, counts as farming too, I thought. But we can end our day doing some threshing. If we get the, if we get the farm, if we get this house done, we'll just go to the farm and do a big old long threshing day. Yeah, there's a building limit, but I don't know what our building limit is at the moment. 30. So I can build three more buildings, so that would be... The cow shed would be one. Another house would be two. And then I still need to build the fold. Actually, what are we missing? I'd probably upgrade one of the food buildings, so that wouldn't count. Yeah, I'd probably build another house, fold, and cow shed, and that'll bring us up to 30. So one more house after this one, and the cow shed, and the fold, and that'll be 30. And that's the limit, so I don't know if uh, there's any other way to raise that after that. I don't know if we need more... Uh, maybe Unagas will have another quest for us or something. I don't know. Start over and start a new village. Yeah, I'd like to do that too. If I do that though, I want there to be more options to build with in terms of terraforming. Because I'd really like to make a more complex, um, more comp... Uh, what's the word I want? C compact. I want to make a more compact village that has more, um, more stuff that I can put in it. More decorations and details. Not that this is bland in any way. I do feel a few things are missing, but the fact that you can put down fences is pretty cool. Maybe we can start building, like, multi-story apartment buildings. Uh, we'll see.
Yeah, I did the Elwyn quest for shooting. In fact, I think we're all done with Elwyn. It'd be nice if you could trade with him after after you're done with quests. I think he became a hunter, so it'd be cool if you could like trade with him for advanced hunting stuff. Yeah, lamps are missing. Lighting would be cool. It'd be nice to be able to see stuff at nighttime. And especially lighting in the homes. It'd be nice if everybody turned on their campfire at night. Wow, look at all the logs we burned through. We're down to 133 out of the... We've used half our logs, but we built so many buildings. We built we built a resource barn, a regular barn, a cow shed, no, uh, a chicken coop, a, a pigsty, and a uh, and a goose house or whatever you call it. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, baby. New subscriber shout -out. Yeah, it's kind of funny how they make you build an attic, yet you don't actually get to use it to store anything. The guy, thanks for sub. Welcome. Yes, okay, so we need two more logs. Oh, gables too. We'll just bring everything. Yeah, that's probably been our most productive stream, but it's because I haven't had to do anything other than build. Uh, well, that's not true. We did go on a little clothing quest for a bit, but I guess that was well deserved after building four or five buildings on our own. Not to mention this house. So what is it? The house, all the walls and fences, the new resource barn, uh, pigsty, hen house, and the goose thing. Unless I already counted that, so that's what? Six or seven things that we did? Crazy. What, I need sticks for that? Oh, that's why. Ah, darn, I'm going to have to take that down and change that. Oops. Taylor with the 10 saying, good luck. Why, thank you. Oh, we can make that out of stone, too. That's okay. We'll get some sticks and fix that. We'll do that gable last. What's the build biggest building you can make in the game? Probably the, the big house is technically, like, the largest structure. Let's do two here. Wow, 1,200 stone. Holy crap. How much iron do we have? 289. So that's holding pretty steadily. Oh, that's too slow. Ah, this YouTuber sucks. Mom, where's my hot pocket? Hot pockets. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I'm going to change that one to stone, but unfortunately, in order to delete it, once you started constructing it, you have to uh, finish it and then delete it, which is fine. Not a biggie. 700 likes, chat did it. Can chat get to 1,000 likes before the end of the stream? The answer, maybe. Jeez, I just need to end up making stone walls all throughout the town to use all this stone. There's really nothing else we need to build out of stone, except for homes. Okay. We'll drop off these logs until we go to rebuild the gable. The stone. Thirty... Wow, that's 47? Okay. Yeah, rocks are super scarce, but we have, we have two mines going with four miners working. So between the four miners, they're bringing in enough iron ore for us to be... I don't have to go mining again. I don't have to do any... Like, we don't have to worry about food ever again. Except for managing it through the resource tab. That's nice. It's a good feeling to be done with that. So what do we need? 2 plus 6 plus... So 8 plus... Did I finish this part? 4. Lord Black Adder, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Appreciate that. 
Uh, two. So we'd needed just 12 plus sticks. Uh, plus we got to build the other side too, so I don't remember what that was. So we'll get 20 and then some more logs. New member, welcome. All right. Should be our last house build until we go to requ uh, request more people. So we can have the two new people work on our animal husbandry stuff and we can go finally get animals going. I don't know why they made like goats and sheep that one of the last things. They seem pretty. Seems like goats and sheep are probably. Uh... Well, I don't know. Once you can make your own clothes. Oh, we're all done. Wait, is the house done? Oh yeah, it is. Good. Great. Really nice. Okay, we've done it, ladies and gentlemen. We have finished our house. We can go recruiting now. But I feel like that'd be a better job for the summer. So with winter here... How many more people can we recruit, actually? We have room for... Two more adults... And we've had two more children grown. So that could give us a group of four over time. But for the most part, I think everybody could just go to work on farming. Ah. Oh, they actually plow and plant in the season that it can't be done. Isn't that just going to make them start over in the winter? Aren't these seal... Oh, I, I don't mind. Oh, I didn't know they would work in the off-season. This is actually good. Because they're still generating uh, stuff for us. Very nice. Wheat can be planted in the fall. I don't, I don't think in this game it can. At least not by me. Because if we take a look at the wheat seed... It might be that way in real life, but in this game... I don't know if it allows you to do that. How the hell are they planting wheat? It's not even in the storage. I don't, I'm not going to question it. However, they're doing it good. 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 Um, I forgot to sell off all my hammers, too. That would uh, explain why I was carrying so much weight all the time. Why don't you use the water skin? Uh, because when you need water and only refill... The animation takes forever. If you go to an actual water source, it replenishes all your water with one sip. As with a water skin, you gotta do it four times for a full, full drink. Okay, we don't need this stuff anymore. And I'm gonna grab a snack and then we're gonna do some threshing for the rest of the day. Yeah, you can run buildings yourself. You're like basically about ten times more productive as anybody else, but you're uh, only one person, so you can only do one thing at a time. So one of the good things to do is once farming is ready, have everybody work that, and then you can do all the other stuff. Don a man again? I want to see if there's more updates for that game before I go back to it. It's a good game, though. All right, it's going to be a long day. Let's see if we can do this for night. We could hire somebody to do this, but uh, we're just we're just way faster. So let's sit back, crack an Avion water if you got it, or whatever they're called, e Evian. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my God! Mom made pizza rolls. Pizza rolls in chat. Bum, bum, bum. I, I guess I'm glad there's not a sound effect for this. Wow. 438. Oh, we'll do another 250. There's no possible way channel will get to 1,000 likes. Etc, etc. 
You know what? You know what I like. If anybody here has been to Japan before, you guys know what I'm talking about. Pakari sweat. Has anyone here ever drank Pakari sweat before? It's actually got like a weird lemony sweet taste to it. It's actually quite nice. Also, I like Bickle. Bickle's good. It's kind of like a sweet yogurt milk kind of thing. It, it tastes like drinking a... To me, it tasted like drinking a... Like a... Um, like a milkshake or something. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, Picari Sweat's top tier. I don't know why we don't have that. I gotta import some of those. That's some damn good water. Yeah, Picari Sweat's good. You want me to do a giveaway on an autographed pizza roll box? Wow, that is actually genius. I did not think of that before. Sometimes you can find it at local Asian markets. Oh, really? Oh, I gotta, I gotta get down to a, a Asian grocery store. Support my local businesses. I've only been like outside of an Asian grocery store once, where. One of my friends was like, yeah, that's where my that's where my mom buys the good rice. And I was like, there's good rice? Like, I didn't even know. That's when I found out, like, there's actually, like, you know, certain... Like, you, you wouldn't think that, like, rice would... There would be a, a higher quality of rice. Like, myself, as young as I was and simple-minded, I just thought rice was rice. I didn't know about all the different varieties. I thought there was, like, two or three different types of rices. Oh, no. It makes all the difference. It's like how choosing between different rices is like choosing between different pizza dough. Like pizza's pizza, but there is a difference between thin crust, regular crust, hand tossed, deep dish, you know, stuffed. And then the tomato sauce really matters too, like how much it how the sweetness of the sauce or perhaps maybe it's a little bit more um like robust like with basil. You know, kind of brought down. Oh, there's a big difference. Yeah, right. Rice, huge difference. It's like pizza. It's like pizza. Or it's like bread, too. A lot of people just get the Wonder Bread, and it's like, no, man. No. No. Go get yourself. I know it sounds super bouge to spend more than $3 on bread, but if you get some decent bread and you put some decent jam on that, oh. Up upgrade your life, bro. Quit buying, quit buying G Fuel and chemicals and start buying some actual good stuff, man. That's where the good stuff is. How do you think mankind... Like, Raysomir here ain't gonna be using G Fuel to ignite his uh, threshing experience. This dude was eating bread and... For as bad as times were back then and disease ridden, at least they were eating like fresh food, right? You, you, your, you or your neighbor would probably kill the chicken that you were eating that night for dinner and it was fr within six hours, it was fresh. Now fresh is just how fast the Uber driver can pull the e-brake around the corner before you get the groceries that you ordered online. That's about that's about all that is. Very late to the stream, but how are we doing? Oh, great. We've made a lot of progress today, Cade. We've built... Pretty much, we've expanded the farm tremendously. I'm going to go for 300 flax grain, and then we'll stop it. Skull with the five saying, keep it up. Thanks, dude. Luckily, this doesn't take too long. But it's certainly not fun. I, I think... Uh, the... The... Uh, Cooking is a little, bit, a little, little, little bit funner. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we're almost done. Yeah, if you missed the stream, just go back to the very beginning too. By the way, at the end, all of these are up as videos later, so you're not you're not missing out on anything. Okay, let's drop off the flaxseed. Wow, we have over six hundred flaxseed. We got to start selling that stuff, and we have another three hundred stock. So let's go knit that stuff. Okay, I'm removing this fence. Unagas 2, I think it's been bugged. If, if you need any specific help, jump on our Discord. There's people all over there. There's, there's some weird thing to get past it. I think you have to not pay your... Don't have enough money for taxes, I guess. I guess they didn't expect people to, like, have the money to pay taxes, but I figured it out. I think the first year I just sold sticks and stuff. Because I had to pay for my own house. Uh, 
Oh, there's ramen. Oh, see? See, Daniel's telling me about amazing ramen. And, uh... That's no laughing matter, by the way. Ramen is very serious. I'm very serious about my ramen. Whenever I see, like, anime GIF images of ramen or any sort of Miyazaki film where there's food in it, even if it's just bacon and eggs or if it's just, like, uh... Like a hamburger, uh, or ramen, or whatever. It's it's ridiculous. It it looks so much better in a cartoon than it does in real life. But you can't you can't eat it. You can't eat it. But I also very much like. Uh, oh boy, I always forget how to say it. There's a Japanese restaurant chain called Sukiya, and they make. I think it's gyoza. Which is like beef, rice, and onion. Holy crap. I don't know how three simple ingredients can be so good, but... And there's a few other things in there, too, but... Or is gyoza the dumpling? Because I can't remember. I always, I, I always screw those two up. It doesn't matter. Just eat. Just consume. It's so good. Alright, we have 30 linen thread. Oh, we could turn that into fabric. That's the dumpling. Yeah, what am I thinking of? Gyoza's the dumpling. It's the other thing. I always knew I figured that out. I forgot that. Yeah, gyoza's the dumpling. What's the thing I mean? I think it's with a... I think it's with a G, though. My favorite rice is basmati rice. Persian food is so good. Oh, that's good. Gyudon, thank you. That's, that's it. Gyudon, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's why I always get uh, gyoza and gyudon confused, because I just think G-Y, and then the only thing I can remember is, is uh, gyoza. But I love myself some yakiniku and yakitori. And shabu-shabu, and... I just need to go to Japan. I just need to move. Just end every live stream with going out to a ramen place at like 2 a.m. Oh, man. Oh, how were the drunken noodles? Great. They were really good. I actually, for the first... I hadn't, I hadn't gone to my local Taiwanese place for like uh, a year and a half, I think. And so I finally got out to do it. Yeah, curry. Go, go, uh, if you go to Japan, go to Coco Curry. And if you don't know what to get, and if you're a little afraid of uh, trying something first in Japan, just go for like... Anything that sounds Western, like the hamburger curry, or the meat and potato curry, or the chicken and vegetable curry. Holy crap. Japanese curry. Indian curry? Some pretty damn good curry. Japanese curry? It's a little sweeter. It's like it has apple in it or something. It, it tastes like somebody took a little bit of apple juice. Just a little bit. Like, maybe like a tea... No, like a tablespoon. You know, just like a... Just a spoonful of applesauce in there, and it just... It's still got the zing and a zip, but it's also got a little sweetness to it. There's cocoa curries in Hawaii. I didn't know there were any in the United States. I gotta, I gotta open up my own chain. Japanese 7-Eleven has meatball bun. Ooh, that's good. I like, um... I remember when I was at... I was taking an airplane from... Uh, I can't remember what airport it was. It was somewhere in Nagoya. Was it Nagoya? I think I took an air, airplane from Nagoya to Osaka, and uh, before I got on the plane, they had near the gate uh, a vending machine for melon pan, like melon-flavored bread. You know, it was like stuffed with melon. Holy crap. That was some good stuff, too. All right, so lo let's see. We have 49 linen fabric, so that's great. So we won't need that for a while. So wool fabric is the other thing. Man, I really hope we don't have to uh, do linen again. Well, then again, that's why you put a worker on it. Gyudon is a beef bowl. Yeah, that's, uh... When I go to Japan next, I'm going to Sukiya. I'm going to, uh... I'm going to Suka, Sukiya, Coco Curry, and then any, like, hole-in-the-wall ramen place. Oh, my God. Natto? I, I don't think I've had that yet. Well, better go back to Japan so I can try more stuff. Oh, well. Darn. I guess I gotta go to Japan again, guys. Darn. All right, last day of autumn. Oh, the kid. Oh, the kid's still. I thought he grew up. I thought he was bigger. Get up, boy. How old are you now? 
four. You've got one more year, boy. One more year, you hear me? And then I'm putting you to work. Okay. <laughs> the kid's so funny how he acts. I just love how he just punches, like he just blasts through the door, though. Just like, pfft. He just leaves that door swinging. He does that thing, too, where kids kind of walk with their hands out, like, really far for balancing. Uh, natto is with, uh, soy and raw, raw egg yolk. Huh. I'll have to, uh, I met, uh, Simon once. There's a guy who lives in Japan. He's Canadian. I, I met a guy in New York. Very nice guy. I talked with him for maybe an hour or two. Super nice. Canadian guy by the name of Simon. And I forget his wife's name. Uh, very, from what I understand, a very lovely lady. But he was a very, 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 very nice gentleman. And we talked a lot about Coco Curry and just tons of great Japanese places. And I think he went to New York. When we were in New York, he went to a ramen place to test it out. And, uh, I, I don't, th yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that great. It was like some, it was a very, a very famous Japanese guy, like, started a ramen restaurant in New York, but it wasn't the same because they go by U.S. standards of food versus Japanese, and I just, I, I just like the Japanese a little bit better. It's just more simple, which I think makes it a little less complex. So it's, ah, uh, yes, yeah, there you go. Simon Martina, yes, that's her name. Martina, yes. Simon, nicest dude in the world. Very nice guy. And we were, re we were really, we were really getting excited because uh, Simon was like, uh, it was before the launch of Final Fantasy VII, so we were talking about Final Fantasy VII and the Square Enix building that we both went by and everything from uh, Shibuya to uh, t Tokyo Train Station, all sorts of stuff. Niter Soul becoming a raptor hatchling. Thank you very much for the support. Very nice. Thank you. Right, let's see if food's okay here. Oh, ooh, we got eight eggs, boys. Okay, so right now all we got to do is put one one food in the bag and we're good. So one food in each bag and that feeds all the animals for now. Generous of the developers to do. Well, there's mi there's many a ramen place in. New York City. He just went to one that was somewhat specific to something, so. But, super nice guy. Alright, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today's stream. Thanks for being here and joining me. We'll come back uh, hopefully sometime tomorrow. I think I might have to start doing these one-a-days, because we're kind of running out of stuff to do. And I don't want to... I don't want to run out of stuff to do and then completely stop. So if we slow it down a little bit, we're already a decade into the game. Ten years in, and we've done quite a bit of stuff so we'll come back tomorrow and we'll continue to build any of the remaining buildings or at least try to unlock the end game stuff so we can continue to build so we don't have much more to unlock but we'll get to it tomorrow so thanks for being here guys I'll tab out for a quick second if we can bring you to another stream let's see what else we can do uh let's go raid one of my other videos let's see what else i put up today um let's see let's go for my latest video today if you haven't seen it uh very very different but i think you'll enjoy it uh if for those of you who wanted to see combat you can see combat on an unrivaled scale go ahead and click or tap that link in chat i just spammed it like crazy and go say ramen on that latest video and then i'll know that you came from this stream and i'll go heart your comment in a few minutes after i have ramen all right guys thank you for being here thanks for clicking and tapping the like button on the way out thanks for getting her up past a thousand likes as always I'm sure you guys will do that for some of the people who haven't seen the video tonight yet. Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to all the new members. And we'll have ourselves a double giveaway tomorrow since I uh, should have some more keys for some more stuff. But if we if I get some more keys and verify that I got some stuff, then we'll do a double giveaway tomorrow. Just remind me tomorrow. And uh, thanks, guys, for hanging out. You have a fantastic afternoon, good evening, and good night. And I'll see you soon, folks. Happy Hump Day. Thursday, Friday, Saturday coming up. Make sure you check the schedule to see what I'm doing next. Have a good one, guys. Goodbye.
Thank you.